G'day guys, I was recently invited to be a guest on the Risky Rollers live stream where we did a battle report of World Eaters versus Death Guard. It was an absolutely ripper of a game, I had a ton of fun, and the Risky Rollers lads were nice enough to give me a copy of the footage to share with you guys here. So if you'd like to see more content like this, head over to Risky Rollers and check out their channel. I'll put some links in the description below where you can catch battles like this live and you can interact with us in the comments section, etc. But for now, enjoy this battle report of World Eaters versus Death Guard. Look for the Blood God. Hey everybody and welcome back to Risky Rollers. I'm Dalton. And I'm Dean from Blocks of Blood God. Great to have you on here. Thanks we are, for having me as always. We are having a Primark off. I've got uh, the flappiest lad, Mortarian. And I have the angriest lad, Angron. It's a convenient name, isn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah. Just, it's very creative. <laughs> <laughs> um, Death Guard and World Eaters. Um, it's going to be interesting. We just It's an army that I haven't played for a while and an army you're very familiar with. Yes. Um, it's going to be interesting just running at each other and seeing uh, if toughness can outdo choppiness. Yeah. Yep. We'll see whether it's the defense or the offense that is superior. Yep. Um, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below. If you enjoy the content, uh, comment and join in, in the live chat. We'll be answering questions throughout yep. the course of the stream. Go check out Blog for the Blood God, link down in the description below as well. Um, Dean's got some pretty good quality videos on of Apocalypse Battle Reports we've worked on recently. Yes, some um, pretty, pretty epic ones. Yep. Some, some of the biggest ones you'll find on the internet. So Absolutely. And some fairly average Chaos Space Marine content. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've, I've heard you've gotten some good results here or there. Yeah, uh, back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, a bit, I'm a bit washed up these days. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. But no, go check it out. It does some fantastic stuff. Um, and make sure to show them some love down in the comments below. Uh, huge thanks to all of our sponsors, also linked down below, General Games Australia, MiniatureScenery.com and Dice Arcade. Uh, also linked down below, you can find the Risky Rollers Events Facebook group, we, where we put all of our events that we run all across Victoria, and we'll talk to you more about the upcoming ones of those during the first turn. Without any further ado, let's talk about the mission, then let's talk about our lists. Sounds good. Alright, so today we're playing Priority Targets, Yep. Uh, uh, Chilling Rain and Crucible of Battle. Uh, Excellent. Yeah, so pretty simple. I love that in the 41st millennium, chilling rain is like just normal. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> nothing, it's, it's wet. Nothing it's of note here. I mean, look, it's 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 based it's based on a, a from Britain, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's just wet and cold that's, all the time. That's, 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 that's standard, how it works. Right? Yeah, that's normal. Um, yeah, so we're doing that one. And shall we talk about lists? Yeah, so uh, Dean, do you want to go first? Uh, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. So starting off with Angron, the big man. I think he's a staple in every world leaders list these days. Uh, and then, in addition to that, we've got Lord Invocatus with six Exalted 8-bound, which is pretty exciting. Uh, we've got another three Exalted 8-bound, which I'm going to be rapid ingressing. Um, they're just really effective at uh, filling in those like little spots and doing damage. Then we've got two units of ten Berserkers, one led by Khan the Betrayer, and one led by a Master of Executions with the Berserkers Glaive. I call him Murder Mo, and... Uh, I get the distinct feeling he's going to chop up a fair few of those Terminators. So I imagine so. He's, uh, he's going to be real good fun. Then we've also got a Rhino, which those Berserkers are going to sh have to share. I uh, don't think they're going to be keen on sharing, so there might be some blood spilled on the, uh, the side there. Uh, we've also got uh, 10 Jackals, um, a unit of three regular 8-bound, the non-exalted ones. They've got the Scout move. They'll be able to get in combat nice and early. And the... Uh, Lord on Juggernaut with the favourite of Corn Relic, which lets me re-roll my blood Yahtzee. So, should be good. Cool. Um, so yeah, I am running the Death Guard, led by the flappiest boy, Mortarion. Um, he's pretty smelly. Uh, he does a bunch of extra buffs and stuff around him. I can get re-roll wounds, I can get always in cover and stuff like that. Um, it's pretty cool. I then have a Demon Prince. Um, a very floppy boy, because he's got wings, but he's too fat to fly with them. He's a Demon Prince, he's got a, a sword and a, and a Plague Spewer and all that kind of stuff. Um, that he gives it a nice aura of Feel No Pains, which is very good into Mortal Wounds and just all the damage output yep. you're going to be throwing in. Yep. Then I have a Lord of Virulence um, cruising around, spotting for my Plague Burst Crawlers, 
and doing a bunch of damage with his own Plague Spewer. Over for Elite, I've got two units of Death of Terminators. One unit of Death Shroud, full six, and one unit of Blight Lords, full ten. They've got all the special weapons, the flails, all the bits and pieces they can take. For troops, I've got two units of five um, Plague Marines, each of them with a Rhino uh, for their transport. They've got all of the shenanigans in them. One of them's even got a fancy stick with a big fly on it. It does have the fanciest of it's sticks. It's a very fancy stick. Uh, and then a unit of 20 pox walkers for backfield objective holding and general walking Yep. and poxing. And then finally, we have two Plague Burst Crawlers there to uh, just burst plagues and crawl everywhere. Yep, um, checks out. Good, good out of line of sight shooting, messing with movement and, and just... Yeah, just throwing a bunch of damage around. Yep, those entropy cannons are pretty scary. They do some serious damage, so... They do. It's pretty good. Yeah, I feel like Angron's going to be on the receiving end of some pretty heavy damage, but uh, he might just come back, so we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Yep. Um, so let's talk about the table and our deployments, and then we'll crack right on. So we've got five objectives, as you would have seen during the um, mission setup step, and we have a bunch of terrain. Everything is ruined except for the crates, which are crates, funnily enough. Checks out. Um, Everything is big enough to be obscuring and stuff, again, except for the crates, because they're just crates. Uh, and we're just knocked with crowns pretty cool. We are just treating it as a big bit of ruins. Yep. And you're both chaos, right? So yeah. it makes sense. But we're both chaos. Yeah. It's maybe, very maybe the narrative could be that we're fighting over the Yeah, that, 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 that makes sense. Yeah, I'm on board um, with this. Just because I forgot to mention it, uh, so for the primary, you get if you hold uh, one objective, you get five points at the start of your command phase. Uh, and then at the end of the game, if you hold uh, up to three objectives, you get five each, right? Oh, so this, so this is the, this end is the of one the game. where you get an extra 15 at the end. So gotcha. you hold two during the game for 10, a tool max of 10, and then three at the end, uh, tool yep. max of 15 yep. as well. So cool. going second might be the way to go. I we'll mean, see. if I get yep. the choice, I will. <laughs> <laughs> God, I missed that. Oh, yeah. Um, cool. So uh, I believe you started deploying first. Do you want to outlay where you've placed things? Sure. So I'm pretty much, given that uh, you don't have a massive amount of shooting and the yep. shooting that you do have is indirect, yep. I've just gone and frontlined everything as much as I could. Yep. I have put my rhino so that you can't just blow it up turn one with those entropy cannons, so it's been tucked in behind a ruin there. Uh, but pretty much everything else is, is frontlined. I've got some berserkers in the ruin back here. Where's my pointy stick? Haha. -ha. I've got some uh, berserkers back in this ruin here, but they have deployed close enough to the rhino so that turn one I could disembark out of one rhino and then re-embark the next Very unit. nice, very so classy. Use it as a sort of a launching pad. Yep. I've got Angron up front, we've got the, uh, the six Exalted 8-bound and the Lord Invocatus here, and then we've got the six regular 8-bound over there. So... Yeah, not a lot of units to the Not table. a lot um, of units. Very, very aggressive. And then, yeah, we've got the six, uh, the three Exalted 8-bound in Deep Strike. They're going to be planning to Rapid Ingress, most yep. likely. And the Juggernaut Lord with the Favourite of Corn also in strategic reserves, looking for an opportunistic charge. Very nice. Um, so over on my side of the field over here, um, I've got two Plague Burst Crawlers just backlined because they have indirect, they've got long ranges. I don't want you tying up in combat for as long as possible. Yep. Um, so sitting back here, I've then got some Pox Walkers just at this stage, just filling out this middle area, but they're gonna sort of just spread out and screen this whole area. Yep, spread the um, sickness. Pretty much, yeah, as, as uh, they used to do. I've got a Rhino here and on the other flank, both with five Plague Marines, just eyeing up those side objectives. Um, that's what they're there for. And then Terminators right through here in the middle um, with the Death Shroud right next to them and then the Mortarian and the Demon Prince right next to both of those, handing out all of their buffs. I do also, at the start of the game, have to choose my Contagion. Yep. Um, and my Contagion will be the minus one to all of your hit roll, ballistic skill and weapon skill, yep. for the duration of the game. But that's just whilst I'm within your Contagion Exactly, range, yes. So which is three which inches in one. you is melee, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Funnily <laughs> enough, um, I've, I've made you worse in melee yeah. while you're in melee. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's good. Um, and yeah, so that pr is pretty much it. Unless we've missed anything. I don't it's think we have. Time for a cheeky first turn roll off. Yep, sounds good. I don't think either of us want it. You kind of want it. I'm you okay just with get it. In there. I'm okay with it. Yeah, that's fair. I'm impatient. Uh, uh, looks so like I'm going first. Yep, looks like it. All right, All right good, good luck, luck, my friend. Good game. Let's have a sick game. All righty. Death Guard turn one. Uh, so I will beg forgiveness because I have not played Death Guard for <laughs> well, four years. If it helps, years. I can buy you about five seconds of time while I make my blood Yahtzee roll. Excellent. And this is to determine uh, what buffs I can get army one. Cool. Cool. Well, I got two sixes in there, which I can use to get advance and charge, and I got uh, two fives in there, which I could use to get six up, feel no pain. That seems like a pretty reasonable way to start because I think you're going to move up, so advance and charge is going to be enough to get me into combat when I want to. And six up, feel no pain, 
should help me weather any shooting that you throw down range. So fair enough. Go with those. All right. Um, so I've got a couple of things to do. I need to draw some objectives at the start of the game. Oh yeah. So um, uh, I didn't even declare whether I was doing tactical or oh, fixed. I'm assuming uh, tactical. Uh, let's go with tactical. Uh, like. That being said, bring it down is pretty spicy into you. You've got th only three characters, though, correct? Three characters, yep. So assassinate's not three, great. Four, four, six bring it down targets. You could probably engage or behind or cleanse or something. Uh, yeah, I could cleanse. I could uh, teleport homers isn't bad either. Yeah, you're welcome to. I'm just going to go tactical because I can't be asked. That is fair. All right, so my first two objectives. this is my deck. Yep. <laughs> My first two objectives are extend battle lines, um, which is pretty good, and a tempting target. Would you okay. like to tempt me with a target? Yeah, you can have... Well, what's the movement on Death It's tiny, right? It's going to be like four inches or something, I imagine. Um, uh, the Plague Marines are above Death Terminators because it's the wrong way around. Yeah, I think the Terminators are four and the Plagues are five. The Death Shroud... Uh, four inches and uh, four inches on the Black Lords as well. Yep, plagues of five. So when I pick the middle, yeah, you're not going to be able to get them on it. No, you're not going to be able to get them on it. Yep, you're going to have to come out with Mortarian. Yep, bang. Cool, <laughs> easy. <laughs> um, all right. So Mortarian also in the command phase has to choose one of his three contagions to use. He's going to use the one that gives me uh, reroll ones to wound for anything within six of him, because yep. I feel like that's probably going to be mostly these lads this turn. Um, what if Mortarian has to move like up to take that tempting target? <laughs> I'm going to just advance some Terminators up. Hope for, hopefully they're all big. I think I'm within ten of the, the edge of that. Just. Yes, yeah, <laughs> so you need to roll a six. <laughs> I mean, look, they'll give it a, they'll give it a, a good old college try. Um, yeah. Cool. And you won't get to do it at all with this unit, so it's that's literally fine. just the... Man Reaper guys. Well, I mean, look, let's let's see if that works straight away because I think I need to know nice That'll and early. Determine, yep, yep. Yep, Death Shroud Terminators advancing. Three. Three. So no, ah. they're not getting it. Um, that's all right. Mortarian, come out to play. Yay. Instead, all I'm going to do with them is just make sure the Lord of Virulence can see your eight bound over there. Um, and then I'm just going to do, do the, old, the old spread out into the building. Um, making sure that... I've also got scout moves to make, my apologies. Oh yeah, no, sorry, carry on. Please do. Um, so these guys are going to scout move up six inches to here. Ah, uh, yep. There's two units of three or one unit of six? Now there's a unit of three here. Yep. And then a unit of six with a character attached here. Gotcha. And they basically want to stay outside of your charge range. You said they had a five inch move? Four inch move. Four inch move. So it's as long not as so long. What's that, plus 12 is 16. So as long as they stay outside of 16... I don't even really have the capacity to get within 16. Uh, so yeah, that's fine. They can just yep. move up to easy. It's all right. I'm not not charging, not charging them turn one anyway. I don't think. Yeah, and they're going to stay on this side so that their plague burst crawlers can't draw a direct line. I mean, one of them will probably be able to, but yeah, yeah one will. But yeah. can't have everything I want. Fair enough. Something like that. Cool. Um, and then the other one is the jackals, which can do a scout move as well. Yep. I'm just going to use to move them six inches this way so that in my first turn they'll be able to walk onto that objective, hopefully. Yep, makes sense. And I'll just spread them out a bit. Cool. Alrighty. Because I want to still be holding my home so yeah. I can sticky it. Makes sense. Yep, something like that. Alright. So. If only you could scout move Angron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Be pretty wild. You picture him just like tiptoeing up towards the enemy, like yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So this rhino is just gonna cruise up into this building because, I mean, what else is it gonna do? Checks out. Yep. Do your jackals get a blood surge move? No. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna put a commie bolter into them. You wouldn't. Oh, you know I would. Um, now, hmm, You've got plasma guns and stuff there. It's pretty funny. Um, Rhinos do have firing deck now. They fix that if I oh, they, remember they do, correctly. Yeah. You're right. They, they do. I think all the rhino is going to do is just shuffle its... How far do 8 pound move? Well, they, they very, exalted. Very far. Eight? So they've got a 9 inch move characteristic. I can Good put Lord. plus 2 move on them and then I can advance them and charge them. All right. and they so can I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna to get hit. It's fine. Yes. Yeah. Cool. From where they are, they could almost hit those plague burst crawlers. Like, they're very fast. That's fine. So there's like 5 out there. 
couple there. Put them stuck up there a bit. I might as well just push forward with them then. Um, I don't really see any reason not to. Yep, my melee weapons are not a reason not to. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to hit them anyway, so. True. That's, that is true. Um, yes. In fact, for that matter, I'll advance that rhino. One inch. Look at him go. Done. Um, <gasps> Shocking developments. <laughs> what a <laughs> thrilling, thrilling sequence of events. <laughs> Um, all right, the Plague Burst Crawlers move, what, 10? And there's no heavy weapons or anything like that, so they can just cruise around shooting stuff. Yeah, well, heavy weapons now just means that if you don't move, you get plus one to hit. That's true. There's that's no true. penalties to moving and shooting anymore. Yeah, no, you're right. Um, all right, Demon Prince moves seven. I mean, that sounds about right. He's just going to get out front there with along with all these lads. There we go. Um... And make sure that these jet these jackals are tucked in yeah, relatively close. You'll still get to shoot them, but I yeah, just want to make sure I'm not not ruining my coherency too much. Fair enough. Now these terminators are gonna just shuffle forwards. I don't I don't particularly feel the need to throw them as far forward as I could. Keep in mind on I yep. think you also get sticky objectives because you're I do, yes. Oh, I get better sticky objectives. They stay sticky like until the end of the turn, not the end of the phase. Oh, there you go. So you can't take them off me until the end of a player turn. Ah, so if I like move on to it and then charge off of it, you don't take it off. Yeah, I don't de-stick it. Yep, and it makes they, sense they, that and they, they have contagion range be extra as well. Sticky. Yep. So that yeah. So but they you still stick them in your command phase though, correct? Oh, I believe so. Yes. Yeah. But um, it gives them ones that I control like that have. Contagion as well, yep. which is pretty funny. Um, now, Pox Walkers are going to advance. Going one as well. Jeez, your advance rolls have been suitable for Death Guard, really. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, basically, all they're going to do is just start spreading. Is this going to be the most well shuffled tactical objective deck? <laughs> <laughs> I've just been shuffling it the whole time. There we go. Poxwalker's doing Poxwalker things. Uh, and then I think all I'm going to do, I'm not going to get lines on Angron. I don't need to. I'm going to... I mean, I'm happy for you to shoot Angron because he just comes back anyway. That's true. I am just going to make sure they, they can both just see those 8 bounds. Yeah. Because I'll get plus 1 to hit from Lord of Virulence and they can see them instead of neg ones. So yep. I imagine I'll be hitting on 2s with everything. Which is good fun. Checks out. Um, and then Mortarion. Actually, that was the thing, wasn't it? It was, let's do that. And do that there. So they're both within six of Mortarion. Oop. There we go. So for your reroll ones to wound. Reroll ones to wound. So you're not going for the tempting target. No. It was not tempting enough. Indeed it wasn't. And I, you're also I'll, not going to extend your CP. battle lines either. Yes, I will. I've got this so one. You have to get... Oh, no, the extended no, no. battle lines is your yeah, home and secure, one. Secure is... No, um, two. Get, yeah. I always get those two confused. Yeah. All right, so let's cruise on over to shooting. Uh, I've only got two things... Well, sorry. I threatened a combi bolter into your jackals. Yep. Uh, so I'm going to put a combi bolter into your jackals. Two shots. From this one here. Yep. Uh, hitting on threes. Excellent. Snake eyes. Let's go. Um, let's move over to the Plague Burst Crawlers. Let's see what they can do. I'm really enjoying the amount of ones you're rolling. If you could keep it's, that up. It's, yeah, it's good, isn't it? Um, so the Plague Burst Crawlers, um, they have Plague Burst Mortars, which are D6 plus three blast indirect fire lethal hits. Yep. Um, they're two damage a piece. I'm assuming you're three wounds a piece on your. On the exalted weapon there? Yes. yes. There um, are berserkers hiding back in the ruin there that you would be able I'll, to target. I'll worry about them later. There's also. Angle. Uh, yeah. A bunch of red stuff. That's true. Go um, red team. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's. In that case, let's just start with the entropy cannons. Yep. Two shots, hitting on twos, because they've listed all three plus, plus one from the Lord of Violence. Checks out. Both hit. Uh, and the entropy cannons are strength ten, so twos, I imagine, or threes. I am toughness six, and I'm not within your contagion range, so I'm not at neg toughness, so cool. threes. threes. Give me ones. some twos. Both wound. Cool. Uh, these are at minus three. Yep, uh, and you are ignoring cover as yep. well, thanks Good to old mates. So we've got a five up in vulnerable save here. Yep, which I pass one. Um, so one of them takes d6 plus one. Yep, so... Seven. Takes seven. He does have a five-up Fiona Pain. That's pretty good. 
I doubt he's going to live, but yep. crazy things have happened. Yep. They don't this no, time, though. He very dies. Yep. Not just a little bit. Very. Take a guy from the back, because uh, don't want to hurt my charge range. Yep. Um, then I'll go with the Mortar, D6 plus three. Uh, and you've got how many in the squad there? Five? Uh, it is now six. Okay, good. So More plus one from the Blast. So it'll be D6 plus four. For three. Um, cool. So seven. So seven. And this will be, yeah, hitting on twos. Uh, two ones. Do I get rear ones to hit near... No, I don't. I doubt he gives both, yeah. Um, give me one moment to check, because he does something... So, so yeah, uh, additional rule for you, Dalton. If, yes. if you hit an infantry unit, they must take a battle, battle shock. shock test. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And um, remember your little hits, yeah? Your little hits with your Plague Burst Mortar and Saucer yes. Entropy Cannon. Gotcha, cool. Um, and then these will be wounding you on threes, but rerolling ones, because they're strength eight. Yep. Rerolling those three ones, thank goodness. I'll take that two. <laughs> two more oh, ones, all right. Cool. You're on so many ones, <laughs> okay. mate. So just so two wounds. Two wounds. Um, these are an AP. Uh, where are we? If it's AP minus one. Okay, so these Ignoring are cover, four ups. Yep. So one Alrighty. gets through. Two damage. Two damage. So these are his five up turn of pains. He good. loves cool. life. And there's the uh, heavy slugger. Which I assume will be out of range, right? Uh, the heavy slugger is 36 inches. Okay, maybe it is. Actually, to be fair, the entropy cannons may have been out of range. They're, they're 24, so they, well, they're the well out. The entropy's well out. So get, get your ladder back. Sorry. Um, I, I, oh, you shot with it. Yep, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I read down Are the thing. they 24-inch range now? Yeah. I read down the thing and went, oh, the slugger's 24 and the entropy's will be 36, but it's the other way around. The slugger's are 36. Fair enough. So sluggers, um, four attacks, hitting on twos. They all hit. And there's a uh, lethal? It's not lethal on the sluggers. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> the one time yep. we remember, <laughs> it's um, not there. Strength five, so it is fives, but I'm rerolling ones. Rerolling the one. Yep. Just so the one. one. AP zero, I assume. Uh, AP one. Really? Minus two. Okay, four up. Cool. That's good. Alrighty. Uh, let's go with the other the other one. Um, entropy cannon, D6 plus four. For six, Ooh. so ten. Two, three, four. Uh, hitting on twos. Correct. Uh, still three ones there, which is a shame. No lethals. And then Winning wounding on threes, threes rerolling three ones. Yep. Rerolling the one. <laughs> Into a two. Okay, so four wounds. Uh, these are at AP minus two. Two. So minus two. Minus one. Minus one. So four up saves. So two get through. And these are two damage, two piece. damage each. Uh, which can't kill two guys, so I can roll this yep. turn of pace together. Does of which I passed two, uh, pass so, two, so you, yep. wounded one guy twice. Four shots from the uh, sluggers. Oh, yeah, we'll do that and see if it kills him before I place uh, the wound counter down. So three hits, then fives to wound, rerolling ones. Two wounds. Very nice, minus AP one again. One, so four ups. So okay. one gets then through. Five up. Five up. Nope. That was it. Cool. That was uh, disappointing. They do need to take a battle shock, two battle shock tests for me. I disagree that that was disappointing. I think that was fantastic. Fair, fair <laughs> enough, fair enough. It's a matter of perspective. <laughs> uh, so, Battleshock Test 1, passed. Yep. Battleshock Test 2, passed. It's so weird seeing double sixes and going, that's a pass on a leadership check. I know, right? I, it's, I, I actually like it because I, I you should be excited when you roll big. Yeah. I, I actually mean, yeah. like it. It's consistent. I, I looked at both of those and just went, yeah, it, I'm excited because you failed. Like, no, wait, no. no. That's not a thing. Um, <clears throat> cool. All right. That's all of that there. Let's double check the Plague Spewer. I'm assuming everything else is going to be out of range from everywhere. Uh, where are we? Demon Prince, 12 inches, so definitely out. And Mortarian will be 12 inches as well. So that will... Oh, it's 18, still out of range. That'll be my turn. Spicy. Yeah, it was good. So I'm going to score extended battle right. lines. Nice. That's um, and five. I'm going to burn attempting target. Burn attempting target, all right. So I'll get next to uh, You guys track CP over there, don't you? Yeah. Yep. Sick. All right, well, this is turn cool. one. All right, so time for me to draw some cards. Yeah. So I'm going to get area denial. Very doable. Very doable. And extend battle lines. Cool. Can also, you get area denial in battle round one? Yeah. Whoops, yep. Cool. I so. uh, yeah, I think so you can. Yep, yeah. Beautiful. What was it? Extend? The other extend one? an area. Extend. Yep. So you'll score extend and area for sure. Very yep. nice. Sick as. 
Uh, so now, starting my turn, I've stickied that objective. I'm going to move yep. over and take this one off your rhino yep. so that you don't Very sticky nice. it yourself. Makes sense. Uh, might as well advance those jackals because they ain't doing much else. Yep. So uh, they that's get a two, two, so that's an eight inch move. For everyone that wasn't able to see the dice tray. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot the <laughs> dice trays. That's the one thing about the, the new. T oh, I probably moved them too far. Um, the new tables at uh, the gaming arena. They're really, really cool. They've got drink holders built into them. They're a good height. They don't have dice trays, though. Mm, fair enough. It's disappointing. Yeah. That reminds me, I need to talk a little bit about our event. So while you're moving, you can feel free to carry on doing your stuff there. Yep. Um, I will point out to everyone, we have our next event coming up. The 11th and 12th of November um, is the Risky Rollers Open. This is our end of year premier competitive event. Uh, we are running it at the Manningham Hotel up in Boleyn. Uh, we've had some I venue issues, we've had to adjust that around. But it's still running on the same, same days, same time. Um, our Facebook page uh, and the Discord and the Facebook group has all been updated. I've done posts up there, um. doing it there. It's a sick venue and it's got an amazing hall we're going to be running it in. It's going to have great food, great bevs. It has a liquor license, which is good. That's angry. Better than the dance, previous venue. Um, <clears throat> so it's going to be pretty sweet. 11th and 12th, it is a yeah, five round GT, 2,000 points, all that kind of stuff. It will also be the culmination of the Risky Rollers Championship Series that we've been running all year. Um, so the winner of that series over the course of the five competitive events will be receiving two grand cash prize as well, which is pretty sweet. Oh, Dalton again? How much is that? Two thousand two, two, two dollars. Grand. Awesome. It is indeed. It's pretty sweet. So make sure you come along to that one. Um, and of course, even if you're not competing for the top of the series, it is still a completely, you know, fully functional ITC ranked GT. So make sure to come along. It's gonna be a great weekend, great way to round out the year of competitive 40k. And if competitive isn't your thing and you want to come along and just have a bit of fun, do that kind of stuff, then we have another event coming up on the 10th of December. This is the Risky Rollers Annual. This is our big Christmas end of year charity event. This is the event that I'm actually most excited for. It's always a lot of fun. We're going to be running 40K. We're going to be running Horus Heresy. We're going to be running Age of Sigma. We're going to be running Kill Team, Blood Bowl. And I'll probably even have a couple of tables of Legions Imperialis going because um, that should be coming out next month. So that's going to be awesome. The way that works is it's all a bunch of like independent little tournaments happening in the same thing, in the same hall. Um, that's being held at the Moorabbin Bowling Club, which is a typical venue for bigger events for this size. Um, that's going to be awesome. We're going to have a bunch of uh, prizes, a bunch of raffles, that kind of stuff. A, a bit sillier, a lot more fun, um, not, as, not as heavily competitive. And that's all for charity. It's all in support of the Smith family, who do fantastic work with kids. Last year we raised over a grand, put two kids through school for this year. Uh, and this year we're hoping to do way more than that uh, and just help out a bunch of underprivileged children across the country turn our love of toy soldiers into something that actually means something. Um, and yeah, I think that pretty much covers our upcoming events. You can check out all the details linked down below. Um, check out the Risky Rollers Events Facebook page. That's where the best place to get all the updates and so forth is to follow that one. Yep. I think that covers everything there, Lawrence. That is very good, mister. Sweet. And while you're at it, I'm running a poll. Team Nurgle or Team Corny? Team Corny. Corny. <laughs> corny. Team Corny. And we have 82% for going corny. to Mr. Angron. Yeah. And 80% yes. yeah. for Mr. Motarian. Yep. Fair enough. Mm. Um, I need to check if, if the if the Demon Prince is a flamer, I'm going to gonna flamer all over you. Oh, it yeah. is. Ignores cover torrent. D6 is shots? Yes. Go on then. He's going to flame her all over you. Uh, I don't even know if it's any good, but he's going to do it. Um, D6 hits. Four. Uh, four hits. Um, strength five, but anti infantry two plus. Ooh. Very well nice. ones. Doesn't eat him. Four oh. wounds. It's min uh, minus one, one damage. Ignores cover. Sorry. Okay, cool. So <laughs> minus <laughs> one becomes uh, four. four ups. Yep, you take And then two. I get a five up filner pain on those. Did I kill the lad? I killed the lad! You the do one kill lad. One. That's actually not bad. Like, for, <laughs> for that's not a bad use of a CP because these guys shred. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just going to do the advance roll on those guys over there. Yep. Six. Easy as. Uh, so just catch people up. I've. Uh, Advanced pretty much everything. The yep. world, the berserkers there, I've used one of my CP. If one of you lads wants to tick me down, so they get an auto six advance. So Very I didn't nice. roll that one. Uh, everybody else has just rolled and is just moving up. Now, Dalton only has one CP, correct? That is correct. 
Uh, uh, I just... Yes, I do have two. Oh, you do have two, because uh -huh. you spent one with your cycle one. Okay, cool. That Practical can, genius. That might change things. I can things interrupt. It's good. Ever so slightly. You can only interrupt one place. What's the damage characteristic on those man reapers? Not enough. Um, is it two or is it three? Where's the Death Shroud Terminators? It actually says right here. It reads as not enough. Okay. Uh, it's two. <laughs> it's two. Yeah. And strength? Uh, strength eight. So wounding on threes, um, re-rolling ones, but yeah. only damage two. I'm not... You know what? I didn't come here to not charge things. That's so. fair. That's fair. Um, um, chat, so if yeah. you guys have any Nurgle strats that I should be using, make sure to, uh, to, to pop them up. He's going to need all the help he can get, guys, so... Alrighty. Uh, cool. There is a minus one damage strat for 2CP. Yep. So keep that in mind. Do Which we, do, do we any both three actually have that. Uh, there is three damage in that squad. Is it with the character? No, this like the sergeant. Gotcha. Has that. That's um, fine. That's all two damage. Yep. Angron's fucking tons of damage. Yep. This guy is going to be between three and five, depending on what I roll. That's fine, yep. It's only the, the three is the break point for Terminators. Yeah, exactly. So if, if it's not exactly three, I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, so that's probably fine. Uh, I also uh, put Khan and his unit embarked in the Rhino, and then the Rhino's yep. moved up. Lovely. So that's got Khan in it. Cool. Uh, and then we're going to do some charges. Let's go. And I should have one CP, if I remember correctly. Because I started with two. Uh, so we've got here, we've got a, a four-inch charge... There's a four-inch four inch charge. charge. There's yep. an auto. There's an auto. Yep. So I guess we'll do... I actually think... Is there a character in this Terminator unit? No. So Angron's the more important one to get in there, I think. Cool. So we'll do Angron's charge first. Yep. Into the Blight Lords. Yep. Which makes it with makes exactly a four. The exact four that he needed. Yep. So he's just going to go bonk. Yep. Uh, then we'll do the Zerka squad. Makes seven. it with seven, which is just going to be enough to make sure that everybody gets in base. Yep. So... Beautiful. Oh, Angron's up. lovely big base means everyone will be able to fight no matter what. Yep. These cool. guys go in here somewhere. Yep. This guy goes in there. It's going to be an, an interesting bit of a damage check here. Just see if... see if. Uh, I actually think one, one of these berserkers is not going to get to fight. No, because touch Angron's base. Because uh, you have to be within base of a contact uh, base contact yep. of a model in your unit that's in base. Oh, really? Not, not a model in general? I don't think that's how it works. I don't think he can attack through Angron. Uh, I'll, I'd love to check I'm, on that, guys. If you, I'm if you happy get, to be wrong, chance. but I yeah. don't think that's just, the case. Just double check the eligibility to fight. Uh, but yeah, um, all good. If that's the case, that massively makes Angon way more powerful yeah. because it means you can just pull everybody in behind him. I haven't played um, any combat yeah. armies in 10th, so I haven't done all the tricks and bits and pieces yet. I'll do the Jackals. Might, they well, advance. might as well. Uh, they can advance charge. Oh, carry on. Yeah, get that Rhino. Hence all of these advances. Yep. That's a 12-incher. Uh, yeah, 11-incher. Yep. So it's... Yeah. I'm basically just going to... Yeah, just, just just run up and wrap it around. Yeah, so it's you have to be base-to-base -base with a model in your own unit. Yeah, in your That's own interesting. Unit. Cool. Mm. Fair enough. Also, Dalton, yeah. don't forget your Rhino can actually have... One Havoc launcher, so you could have additional attack later. Yep. Sure. But they're not indirect Havoc launchers, are they? No. For, they for are some are reason. Chaos Knights get indirect ones. They are not, but they're a blast. Don't. Um, cool. Uh, and then the eight band over there. Yep. Demon Prince, I'm assuming. The, yep. Yep. And, and the, the eight band into the terminators. Into the terminators. Yep. So everything's cool. in. Uh, yeah. These guys. In. We'll, we'll do that up there. I'll put them up there, but they're on the ground floor. I'm yep. assuming. So they get to be in the just, wall. A just bit. so that everybody gets to fight. Yep. Uh, now. Where are we starting? Part of me wants to start with the Berserkers because I feel like your interrupt there is probably going to be of the most value. That's because fair. Because you're going to have 10 Terminators fighting as opposed to 6 over there. Yep. Berserkers are also quite squishy. Yep. I imagine you've probably got a bunch of 2 damage weapons in that unit. I would imagine so. The Blight, Blight Lords are only the Flails are 2 damage. There's only 2 of them. Okay. Hmm. Let me just have a real quick. I know it's thrilling to watch this yeah, yeah, on a stream. Good, good stuff. But uh, I just want to have a quick look at the can damage we, can profiles. Can we get some dramatic music going and some like dolly zooms and things? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is when you cut to commercial, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Step up your production quality. 
Uh, Keep so in mind, Blight Lords, everything got, will be much more to hit because of your contagion, contagion as well. Yep. Yep. That's um, why Angron's here. Yep. And I think I think uh, Mortarian makes the no, he can make the contagion three inches bigger, which doesn't matter. But so they're they're, they're they're Blight Lords. Yep. And they're, they're Death Shroud. So Blight Lords. So you're gonna get most of those guys are gonna get four attacks, hitting on threes. Yep. Winning on threes. Doing two damage. I uh, do a AP two one damage. You're probably not actually going to each one probably kills half of a berserker. Yep. So you fight with ten, you probably kill five berserkers there. Sure. Whereas if you fight instead with the death shrouds, they've got. Uh, they're going to be doing four attacks each, hitting on twos. However, so. Yep. Uh, and winning on threes. Yep. It's neg two two damage, but there's six of them, so. Six by four is twenty-four hitting on twos, so twenty winning on threes, so eighteen. So you actually probably do more damage into the eight bound. Okay. And you don't do enough damage to chew to the character, and you don't have the ability to snipe my character. So I am going to fight first with the exalted eight bound. Cool. Into the death shroud. Into the death shroud, because you're not going to kill anger on either way, so it's yep, definitely that. Cool. Uh, Let's go. And I'm going to use uh, one CP here, yep. Because that's the unit with the character attached. Sure is. To get plus one to wound versus characters, I think. Cool. Because what toughness are you? Toughness. Uh, toughness five, I imagine, for death death so guard terminators. At least toughness six, right? Um, where are we? Death T T six. Wow. Um, are normal terminators T five now? Ah, uh, okay, cool. That being said, okay. The exalted eight bound, I can hit you with the chain fists to get. Strength fourteen, and then I don't need it. Cool. Your AP two, uh, um, two, two up save. Two up save, four up invuln because they're in cataphracty armor. I mean, sorry, I'm assuming they're still in cataphracty yeah, armor. There'll be four. Still four invuln. Yeah. These days, the four up invulns. Even the um, Indominus pattern. Yep. Why? Um, yeah, everybody does because now. Because it's just terminators these days. I guess they fix terminator armor. Yeah. Like, sure. That's weird. Uh, whereas, so I've got basically two profiles I can use here. Yep. One of them will be winning you on twos natively. Yep. But it only gets four attacks hitting on threes. Yep. Whereas if I use the other profile, I'll get six attacks and yep. I'll be hitting on twos. Which is still threes. But then I would go down to only wounding you on threes. But then if I yep. spend a CP, I can get that back up to twos. So. Fair enough, yeah. So Dalton, yes. is your Death Shroud Terminators led by a character? Sure are. Yeah. Yes. Okay, you would be minus one to be wounded if oh, the go. strength of Probably the attacking is melee is higher. Yes. So it was always which minus it, one. Which it will be. So the minus one to wound period against everything here. Yeah. Haha. -ha. You minus one to yeah, hit, minus one to wound. That's the play, I think. Because it pushes you, both of them push you to involve regardless. Cool. Both are two damage. So yep. let's so you, do that. Definitely the, the number of attacks then. Yeah. We're spending the CP? Yep. So yep. I'm down to nil. Okay. Nil point. Uh, so they're going to get six attacks each, and yep. there's five of them because you yep. killed one. Uh -huh. And one of them being the sergeant, he has a different weapon profile. Yep. So. And one, he'll have an extra attack and a different two, weapon. So three, two, four. So there's only four of them because the sergeant's different. Uh, yes, correct. Four. Yep. Because yep. one's Alrighty. dead, and one's sergeant, so there's four. And then I'll do my character later. No worries. So what so are you hitting? These, on? Uh, hitting on twos, up but to three. To up to threes because of your stupid roll. Contagion. Yep. But I do get reroll hits from angry Ron. Full rerolls or real ones? Full rerolls. Beautiful. Uh, so we are hitting you on threes. I think Death Shroud also get real wounds if they're led by a character or something. Uh, so they might hit so far. I think the Lord of Virulence gives them real wounds. Or something. something like that. I'll yeah. check the Lord of Virulence. Three rolls. Cool. So only so one miss. Single miss. Yep. And then we would have been wounding on twos, but you are also neg one to wound. Yep. So back to threes. Well, it would be threes back to fours back to threes because yes, you're plus one up or three is twos to threes. Yeah. And I will get reroll ones on these wound rolls thanks yep. to the nearby eight bound. Beautiful. Cool. Oh, there's lots I'm enjoying of twos. those twos. There's lots of twos. That's real good. There is a single one in there though. Yep. I still think all things considered. That's there's a still pretty, a one. It's a pretty good I'll roll. Just roll these ones. So it's a four up save. Yep. And these cool. are two damage a pop. So I need. Uh, so every two is a dead terminator. Well, you will get a six up for no pain because you do. I will. Yes, life. that's true. Um, so yeah. Okay, so they're fine. So it's one, uh, two, three, seven fails, eight, eight fails. fails. Cool. But you will have to roll these separately one yeah. at a time. Yep. Because so I've got eight. Sorry, so eight fails. Um, so six, seven, eight. I'll roll them four at a time because they're taking... Uh, yeah, so roll them two at a time. 
Two, two attacks at a time? Yes, so yes, yeah, so four, four so wounds at a time. Two attacks, so this is your first four? Yep. That's kills a one. Terminator. Next two attacks. Uh, Ooh, kills two. Kills another Terminator. There, are there four wounds each or three? Three. 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 Cool. Next and two then. attacks. Yep. So that's two dead Terminators. Uh, three, three dead, dead Terminators. Terminators. Next two. And last two. There's four dead four Terminators. Four dead Terminators. Cool. Very good. That's a good start. It sure is. And then we've got the Avocado Man himself. Yep. Lord Invocatus. Who has a number of attacks at a strength characteristic. Yeah, that's, uh, that <laughs> sounds about right, yeah. It's called Coward's Bane, which is a sick it's, name that's, for a That's weapon. sick, that's pretty cool. Uh, so he has eight attacks. He's got yep. seven of his profile, plus one for being a lot on beautiful, the Beautiful, beautiful. Normally hitting on twos, but you are neg one. Yep. Uh, and I am re-rolling hits thanks to yep. the Angry Man himself. Cool. So we got a bunch of hits yep. there. And strength a bunch. He would be strength seven, which would be wounding you on threes. threes goes back, back to fours, to fours back, back to threes. threes. Beautiful. Oof. Uh, oof only but he two. does get reroll wounds thanks to yep. uh, reroll ones to wound yep. thanks to the nearby agent. Get rid of that two. Which was one additional one. Wound. Cool. So, so three, three wounds at AP. And where any of those sixes? I didn't check. Yeah, you had two sixes. Two sixes. So yeah, they're devastating. Those two. Cool. Uh, so you got against the other and one, you've got a four up invulnerable save. Which I pass. So you got uh, two, so four wounds to take. Yep, so four six up, feel the pain. Yep. Another dead Terminator. So that's what, five dead Terminators? Five dead Terminators. Whoop, there's only, whoop, there's only one Death Shroud and the Lord of Virulence left. Cool. All right. Uh, is that it? Yes, would you like to do me an interrupt? I would like to uh, do you an interrupt. It'll be the Demon Prince into yeah. the other eight bound. Yep. I had a feeling that was coming. Um, I feel like it's my best option here. Because um, you're right, I can do some work on the... the like we fit, you, you probably only kill about half of them, and then exactly, that unit of yeah. Terminators is toast, because it's got Angron and Mervo yeah, in it. absolutely. They are toast. Um, Alright, so we've got the Strike Attack from the Demon Prince, which is going to be six attacks. Um, so it'll be hitting on twos, strength eight, so wounding on threes, yep. minus two, three damage apiece. Yep, that three yeah. damage is exactly what you want. So. Absolutely. Hitting on twos. All hit. Yeah. Um, no lethal or anything. Surely lethal. Isn't everything in Death nope. Guard lethal? Uh, no. No, no, it's not. Uh, and then it is strength eight, so threes, rerolling ones because of Mortarian. Rerolling those ones. So there's a two there as well. All right, so five wounds. These are at minus two, three damage apiece. Five? Five wounds. So five up in vulnerable saves. Yep. Ready for this? Nothing but fives. Yeah, nothing but fives. Oh, that's, I mean, still two out that's of five. Right. That's, yeah. And then you got Phil No Pains. And then, yes, I got a six up Phil No Pains. So three yep. got through. Yep, so three, three guys in the squad. So the first. He's dead. dead he's guy. very dead. Do that again, please. Guy. He survives. Lives. And then, then the he'll cop the next one. one. Going to so he kill. kills the two. So two die, one lives. Beautiful. I'm going to keep the sergeant alive because he has the. Uh, he's the big damage. He has the big damage. The mega death. So that's yep. two regular eight bound dead. Cool. Now, Angron. Yep. It's going to go El Berserko. Makes sense. I'm going to do his strikes. Let's see what it see what it does. This is into the Death Shroud. Do they have that same Neg one? No, because they're not Death Shroud. These are Blight Lords. What do they do? So I will still be Neg one to hit against mm. them because of your Contagion Yes, but thing. that's it. That's the only negative they'll have. Yeah. And they are Toughness 6, so... Are they? They are Toughness 6. Yeah. They're good. Insane. They're good. They have uh, the technology. So I'll use his big attacks though, because it'll be yep. winning on twos. Absolutely. So he's hitting on threes. Yep. Full rerolls. Which is only the one. There we go. All hit. It's nine and hits. Twos to wound. Twos to wound. And no, I'm not attacks. within range of that, so. So there you go. Cool. have eight wounds. All right. You want eight, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, much better. That yeah, is right. Fours. Uh, it's not great. So one, two, three. Four of them. How average, average. Of you. Uh, Now these are seventeen damage. D six plus uh, one or two. Uh, you should roll them one. Uh, it's not going to matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. Um, I'll I'll work from the biggest down. You work from there across. Sure. So four uh, plus D six plus two. So that's two. a six damage attack. So six is dead. Um, you tried. Yep. That one will be four damage. Dead. Dead. That one will be uh, five damage. Dead. And then that one will be. 
What's that? Five, seven. Uh, seven damage. Dead. Cool. So it kills four. Beautiful. Um, it's going to be... You know, conveniently, you will not be able to pull me out of Berserkers fighting. Three, four. Yep, that's fine. Uh, now we're going to do the Berserkers. Uh, I normally do the characters last, but this character is one of my favourite yeah. models. Yeah, Mo can probably entire, mop up most of the squad. In the entire game, he's one of my favourites. He's pretty sweet. So he's got five attacks. Yep. Plus one for being a world leader to six. Very nice. And then he gets plus D3. For one? Which I only roll one, which is okay. unfortunate. Uh, because that would have also given him plus D3 damage. Cool. So there's plus one damage. So he yep. takes him to three damage, though. Yeah. Which is cool. Uh, now, he'll be hitting on uh, threes because yep. you're neg one. But he does cool. get his rerolls from Hangrid. Very nice. And then he is strength eight. So, so he's threes. winning on threes. Any rerolls here? Uh, only when targeting a unit that contains a character. Which he does not have. But you he don't does have... Devastating Wounds, and there's yep. three sixes in there. Okay, so it's three dead Terminators. <laughs> so I'm out of the Kill No Pain range. Yep. And then the and other four, four uh, of kills which two more. Two. So it kills five. Uh, yeah. So one, two. So that guy just three, killed more than Angle. Four, five. Yep. There is one and Terminator left in the squad. Um, do you want me to pull him, or do you want to roll the Berserker? Attacks? I think you can afford to pull him. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> cool. Very nice. Uh, and then I've got a bunch of consolidate moves to do as well. Carry on. So these guys are just going to consolidate up. I and mean, you can fight my Demon Prince as well with your oh, Lone yeah. Sergeant. Yep. So they'll pile up there. Yeah, easy as. Uh, Angron, does, does he want to touch up Lord uh, of Ruins? I think he does, actually, because they've already... Okay. Oh, they no, they haven't fought yet. Have yet. So you probably... I mean, do you want to get shot? Do you want to touch him up? Uh, you're just going to fall back anyway, right? 100%. I want to get him closer. Yep. So he touches him up. Yep. Cool. Uh, I don't think you're going to be allocating attacks into him anyway. All that stuff will move up as well. I yep. will do the... Uh, I'll start doing that a little bit there. I'll do the, what's he called? Eight bound sergeant. Yep. Uh, so he has five attacks. He's hitting you on threes with re-rolls. Uh, yep. It'll be to fours because of your contagion. Yes. Uh, but he does get re-rolls. Yep. So Everything five. hits. That's fantastic. He is strength 10. Uh, so it'll be threes then, because Demon believe Prince is only T7 or something? I believe you're T10. What? you're a walking Demon Prince, right? Um, T11. Wow. T11. Imagine, imagine that. Well, that's pooey. Yeah, the uh, fives. So fives. Yeah. I do get reroll ones, though, because I do? am an 8 man. Yep. So that's two wounds. Two, two wounds. wounds. AP. AP 2, flat 3 damage. So two up. So threes, fours. So nope. six he takes damage. Six, so feel no pains. Ah, uh, yeah, so it's the six up aura would affect himself. Yep. Uh, he takes five, so he's got five wounds remaining. Exactly half. Well, he's tougher than he is wounds. That's not... Uh, yeah. It's not what you expect from a big thing. Normally they have more wounds than toughness. That's true. You um, can keep carving chunks off them, but they just don't die. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I'll fight back with the Death Shroud. Well, the lone Death Shroud. And the Lord yep. of Virulence. Yep. Do they want to hit... The angry so man or the... They want to hit the... I mean, they're all angry men. They're all angry. <laughs> they're all very... They're going to hit the, the smaller, ang more manageable angry men. So the Lord of Virulence gives real wounds for ranged attacks, unfortunately. That's, yeah, not, ranged for them. Yeah, yeah. not... Because they've got, like, really good, like, little ranged they've flamers. They've got, like, flamers, they? yeah. Yeah, cool. Not anymore, they don't. <laughs> yeah, not anymore, they don't. <laughs> so, uh... The lone Death Shroud... Death Shroud Sergeant has... Extra attacks? No, just three. So where's the thing? Uh, let's do the, let's do the strike. Yes, I did. So four. Yeah, you did. I completely forgot about objectives yeah. and just went in, um, went in for combat. Yeah. Hitting on twos. <laughs> Two misses. Excellent. And then... What is this here? I'm Strength eight, so threes. threes. Yep. Rerolling the one. <laughs> Nothing. Cool. <laughs> oh my god, it's like reversing and Wacky. Then, yeah. Yeah. Are, they, are they T5 or T6? They're T6. So yeah, even with the minus one, to, uh, minus one toughness. Yeah, yeah. Um, the Lord of Virulence, he has five attacks, the Heavy Plague Fist, hitting Oof. on threes. Okay, one miss. Uh, and then Four. this is going to be strength eight, so threes again. We three or ones. Yep. Which is good. <laughs> wow. Cool. So just a two. Uh, it's minus two and two damage. Uh, so these will be five up saves. 
All right, one pass. and then two damage. Two damage. Five up uh, Five up Fender Pains. So both hey. get through. So one guy is on one wound. Yeah. Good stuff. I'll take that wound counter from over here. Very nice. Do you have a little arrow thingy? Uh, yes, you need just the one. Just the one. There you go. I want a cool little arrow thingy. They're cool little arrow things, aren't they? Um, all from miniaturescenery.com, one of our sponsors. Check them out, link yeah. down below. See that? Seamless. Or come on the Risky Roller stream and just pocket a couple. Yeah, that, that works too. <laughs> 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 um, all right. Anything else? Objectives oh. and turn? Jackals. Uh, do, do your jackals... Te technically they could fight, but... I mean, uh, who could be asked? Yeah, right? fair enough. That's good. All right, so scoring. So I got both mine. Aerogenile for five, extend battle lines for five. Yep. Nice work. It's good. All right. And I am now on one CP at the start of the next battle round. Yep. As am I. So Death Guard turn two. Death Guard turn two. I'm holding one objective. Uh, Mortarian is going to choose the thing that does stuff. Um, oh, that, that one. That, yeah. yeah, it's a classic, classic, isn't it? Yep. The, 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 the one with the rules. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, got it. Um, he is going to... I mean, same thing. Rare wound rolls are one, because it's all, otherwise it's ranged attacks or it's bonus contagion range. Yeah. We're already in contagion range, which is yeah. now six inches. Um, not that it's ever going to matter, because not, yeah, I melee. don't intend on ever not being within <laughs> your engagement yeah. range. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, let's crack on. Now, it is worth noting yes. that when you go to fall back with your Blightlord dudes, the ones yep. that Angron and the things are in, you have to take a battle shock check, a leadership check. Yep. If you fail, you must remain stationary. Fair enough. Uh, bring it down. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's very doable. Area denial. That's somewhat less, less doable. doable. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, look, I'm not going to have a board state after next turn, so I'm going to do new orders area denial. Checks out. Yeah, let's give it a go. Behind enemy lines. Excellent. That's even less <laughs> even doable. Less doable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Um, let's go over to movement. Uh, I think a lot of everyone just want to stay there. All right. Well, Dalton is yes. doing his movement. We have a question for you, Mr. Dean. Yo. From Mr. Dale Kill... What was this? Kill Patrick. Patrick. Yes. Dale Kill Patrick. Good <laughs> lad. How do you use your Lord of Skulls in a typical game and which weapon loadout do you recommend? So I've been running two in a lot of my tournament games lately. Um, I think they're one of those units where you kind of either take two or you don't take any. Uh, and the reason that is is because you're sort of going for a stat check where you're just loading up my whole army or a large part of my army is toughness 13, which means if they don't have the tools to deal with toughness 13, they're in a lot of trouble. Whereas if you Checks take out. just one, your opponent can sort of go, cool, I'm just going to ignore it and I'm going to kill the rest of your army. Whereas if you've got two, they can't do that. So that's probably the first thing that I'd say is... Um, is to, um, yeah, take two. Uh, I prefer the Skull Hurler and I think it's the Demon Gore Cannon, the ones that have the higher damage characteristic because you can either get more shots but less damage. Um, and that's because I find that either way you don't have a massive number of shots anyway, so you might as well lean harder into the, the big, big attacks. Uh, and then as for how I play them, it varies pretty heavily depending on what my opponent's army's got. So... Uh, Sometimes you'll want to put one of them in strat reserves so that it can come on from a table edge and get angles and make charges from, from there and, and do damage. Other times you'll want to just put both of them on, on the table as close to the midfield objectives as possible and then just bum rush onto them. Um, but they're mainly there to sort of control the midfield. You're never planning on getting them into your opponent's deployment zone. They're just, they just move towards the midfield. Chances are your opponent is going to also move towards the midfield. So you're just kind of scrapping in the middle of the table with them. And their main purpose is really killing units to help resurrect Angron. And they really unlock Angron as a weapon in the game because you can just throw Angron in. And pretty much no matter what your opponent does, you're going to get him back almost every time. I've had games where I brought him back three times in one game. And it's all facilitated by the Lord of Skulls. So it's fair. I think how do you use the Lord of Skulls is probably not the right question. The question is how do you use Angron given that you have the Lord of Skulls. Because yep. he's, the, he's really, they're there to support him, not the other way around. Fair enough. So, hope that answers your question. All right, um, I didn't do Battle Shock for the Lord of Virulence and his squad. Yes. Which they uh, fail because low is bad. Yes. Cool. Um, it's fine, they're going to stay there anyway, because they can... So this means you can't shoot Angron on all the 8-bound? Uh, with everything else I can. He's a monster. Uh, you can shoot him, yes, yeah. correct. But you can't yeah. shoot the 8-bound. That's fine, I wasn't going to. Um, basically... Uh, that was half my army, so yep. we're going to try and see if we can kill Angron before we die. 
Sounds fun. Let's go. Um, Surely Mortarian have... jumps over. Surely. No. Nope. Reason just, being. Just one thing, Don. Did you, yes. you rolled a six, right, for that? For what? Your battle shot? Yes. Yeah, he would pass. He's got a leadership oh, cool. six. Yep. Fine. Yeah. They don't battle if shots. That, if that matters. I Good talk. It does, um, that does matter. So, I yeah, mean, dude, now enough. you can fall back and you're not going to be neg one to sh hit when you're shooting Angron. I've still got to do a battle shock check, though, to see if I can do it, according to you, for that. Or is it just the normal battle shock? Yeah, yeah, so that was your normal battle shock at the start yes. of the battle round, right? Yeah. So now if you right. want to fall back with them, you do another battle shock. Does Angron have a blood surge move or anything like that? No. These lads do, though. Yep. So that, don't don't I'll, I'm going to talk... I've dealt, I've dealt with that. Oh, you've um, dealt with that, have you? Yeah, that's what the Poxwalker's there for. So you can't blood surge into Morty. Okay. You can blood surge Poxwalkers, I don't care. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'll take free Poxwalkers any day. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, the Lord of Virulence can try and fall back. Yep. Uh, no fail. Uh, yeah, no, passes because that's better than yeah. Yep. That's really throwing me off. <laughs> um, cool. They're gonna fall back. And as I just mentioned, uh, during movement, Mortarian's moved up to be able to not unfailably charge um, Angron. Yep. Um, and the Poxwalkers have moved up here in between them, so that when I throw like the flamer and stuff from over here into the Berserkers, uh, Berserkers they can't blood surge into Mortarian, stopping me charging Angron. Yep. You can hit the Poxwalkers. That's fine. I'm just here to try and kill Angron. I'm not really bothered about anything else at this stage. Mm -hmm. um, cool. They've gotten out here for what it's worth to try and hunt down these jackals. Yep. Um, yeah. That's a squad of six, correct? Five. Yep. Uh, five. Five. Just five of them. You can't take them in sixes because it's five or ten. Okay. Or seven, I think. I thought they had some weird, like... They, they had seven. You could take seven because they sell them in a box of seven. Yeah, they come in a box of seven. And, and then, no you couldn't, then you couldn't bring them in a, in a unit of yeah, seven and then or everybody lost their mind and now they... Because like GW bad. Yeah. Um, uh, yep. Anyway. Yeah. Checks out. Let's Ima imagine if they like let you choose how many models are in a unit or something like that. If It'd they be wild, yeah. If they took that number and just broke it or, down to uh, per model. Or even if they, you know, what would be really cool um, is if in, in miniature games gear? where you get to like build your own guys and like do all the models and stuff, they let you choose the war gear they had. Yeah. That'd be really sweet. That's, that's wild. Yeah. Yeah. You should. You know what they could you do? Should email them. You know what they could do? Because you, you know how you pay points <laughs> to, to build an army, right? They could even, if you had different war gear that had different profiles, they could give different points for it. And then, then they could make a granular, complex, nuanced yeah, yeah, yeah. game that's exciting. Oh, and that'd <laughs> <anyway>. be cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mortarian's going to shoot Angron. People tune in for a battle report and it's just me and Dalton bitching about points costs. <laughs> I mean, look, I'll do that for many hours. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> let's go with, he's got Rotwind and the Lantern. Uh, the Lantern's his pistol, so I'm going to use Rotwind. A D6 plus three attacks, blast, dev wounds, lethal hit, psychic. Into... Angron. Angron. Um, sorry, so it's D6 plus three, so it is going to be... Six. six. Good math. Cool. Um, and then we have hitting on twos. Uh, this is a new battle round, correct? It is. I need to do my blood. Oh, yes, scene. carry on, carry on. Um, apologies for interrupting your turn. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to do that. That's pretty good. Uh, I don't, Five fives. I don't need advance and charge because everything is in your face. Yep. So I'm going to take... Six up for no pain, and I'm going to take sustained hits this cool. time, so that when I do hit you, yep. I'm doing mad damage. Makes sense. Because you weren't before. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't doing <laughs> enough damage before. Killing half your army in one turn is not, it's yeah, not enough. it's fine. Um, let's go on with <laughs> Rotwind hitting on twos. Good stuff. Yep. It is going to be strength seven, wounding you on fives, I imagine. Uh, yes, I'm TL. I love that there were no sixes there either, which is good fun. Um, T11, so fives. Fives, uh, six is a dev. You will get reroll ones from yourself. I will. Uh, so one, one dev, dev, one normal. All right. That's uh, it. AP. Uh, it's going to be AP minus two. So four up. Yep, just one damage. Ah. Oh. From the dev, dev wounds. And then yep. feeling the pain. So it's, Angron takes one. Cool. He has 16, so that puts him down to, I need a three. Oof. Yeah. Um, then we'll go with the Plague Burst Crawlers. Uh, the Lord of Violence can see Angron, which is, which is fun. So we're going to start with the Entropy Cannons. Two shots, hitting on twos. From this one here, for argument. Into sake. Angron? Into Angron. Everything into Angron? Yeah. Two hits. Now, this is strength ten, so fives, rerolling ones. And again, no lethal on that. Mm. Just the one. Uh, it is minus three. Four up in there. Yep. Love's life. Um, and then we'll go with the uh, sluggers, because why not? Uh, two, two hits. Um, fives or sixes, I imagine. Uh, fives is not enough. Cool. 
And then the Plague Burst Mortars, D6 plus 3 for 5. Hitting on twos. All hit with two lethals. Thank God for that Lord Virilis. He's, uh, he's, he's paying for his points. He, especially There's when you roll as many twos nothing, as you nothing, do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and it is strength eight, so fives again. Uh, just the one, so three wounds, three wounds at minus one, two damage apiece. So these will be three ups then, minus yep. one. Uh, ignoring cover, I assume, because of old mate. Yep. So two get through. Yep, two, two damage apiece. Uh, all all four of those get through. Cool, down to 13. Then we'll do the other one. Two entropy cannons hitting on twos. The lethal. Oof. Finally. Finally. And then fives to wound. Rerolling ones. That's a wound. So two wounds. Minus three, so four up in bomb. Uh, yep. I do have the CP correct. Mm -hmm. Nah. Alright, yep. one gets through. D6 plus one. Six. Now I'm wishing I had CP <laughs> rerolled. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so four get four. through. Cool. So that takes that one. And then three Down to nine. There. Then we'll do the sluggers because twos and then sixes. Nothing. And then we'll do the entropy, uh, the the mortar. Mortar. D six yep. plus three for seven. Cool. Hitting on twos. <laughs> That's good. God damn it! <laughs> one lethal. That virulence is like <laughs> he is. Whoa. He has effectively he is like, in quadrupled the number of shots yeah. you've made. I mean, it's not helping, but he has. Yeah. <laughs> uh, fives to wound. Two devs. No, devs, lethal. Wait, no, not devs on these. Just two wounds. Just two yeah. wounds. So, so three in total. Three in total. One, one from lethal. AP1. AP1, two damage. Three ups. Okay, two one damage. Gets through. Two damage. One uh, damage. One gets through. Okay, down to eight. Corn's number. All right, then we'll go over to the Demon Prince. Stop yeah. trying to kill him and kill him! Yeah. The Demon so Prince, the Demon Prince is, uh, in is combat, still in combat. He's a monster. So he can shoot out. Yep. And he doesn't care about the minus one to hit because he's, he's a, a flamer. flamer. Yep. Now, I could throw it at Angron, but Angron's not infantry, is it? No. That's a shame. He has legs, but he's yeah. not infantry. <laughs> has legs, not infantry. Yeah. Checks out. As opposed to um, destroyers, which have no legs but are infantry. Yep. Um, <clears throat> have legs and infantry are not perfect Synonymous, circles of, yeah. on the Venn diagram. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. So Death Guard Demon Prince with the Plague Spewer. I'm going to put it into the... Oh, it's only one damage. Berserkers, because... Yeah. Why not? These I mean, you could kill the guy you're in melee with, but you'll probably kill him in melee. I could. I could. He, he will fight before you. It's true. He's going to kill the guys in melee with. D6 hits. For three hits. He's not going to kill the guys in melee with. <laughs> Two's right. to wound. Two's to wound. We're rolling one. Three. three wounds. Um, anti ignores cover torrent. AP minus one. So, so these will be fours. four ups. Yeah, one gets one. through. Oh, Six up here though. Cool. Uh, he takes it. Oh, so progress is progress. I don't think he had taken any damage. He had not. Because he does not have a cool little arrow near him. Yep. Brought to you by Miniature Scenery. Dot Check com. out their website. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's good. Um, all right. I'll support Waggers. Waggers is a Waggers is lad. good. He's a good lad. Um, Bro, Waggers is online. Oh, hey, 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 Tim. Um, all right. Uh, the rhino is going to put combo bolters into the jackals. <gasps> you wouldn't dare. Oh, I would. Two hits. Two wounds. Uh, they've got a six up save. There's some guys in cover. Sure. So five up saves. So cool. they're good. Cool. Cool story, bro. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we'll go over two charges. Uh, Mortarian's going to charge Angron. <gasps> Believe it or not. I'm not going to overwatch you with my plasma pistols if that's what you're waiting for. <laughs> yep. Look. Bam. I charged Angron. Did the thing, everyone. Um, and these... Surely Motarian can kill eight <laughs> wounds off Angron, right? And you'd hope so. And uh, these Plague Marines are going to charge your jackals. Yep. Seven inches. Feel free to just hook them around. They're going to be as an annoying and spread out as they can possibly get. Yep. Um, Screening-wise and so forth. Goodbye, jackals. It was nice knowing you. All right. Let's start with Mortarian. Uh, he's Fun fact for those playing yeah. along at home, I forgot to wrap an ingress. But... Oh yes, I mean... Yeah. I don't think it's going to matter too much. Cool. Fine. So Mortarian has silence, strike or sweep, probably the strike, makes more sense. I'm not doing the maths. Checks out. Five attacks. He is re-rolling ones to wound. Uh, yes. You're minus one to, uh, to hit rolls. That's You're fine. using Battlescribe, you caveman. I am using Battlescribe because I can have more than one army list on it. 
Um, and also it does Horus Heresy, which is a game I play a lot more. That's fair. Um, so, all right, five attacks, hitting on twos. Cool. They all hit. Yep. Good stuff. Uh, no lethals, though. It's a shame. Strength, Strength. 14. So threes, threes. to wound. Rerolling ones. Reroll ones, thanks to your box. Which is handy yep. for three ones. Three more ones, please. No, five so wounds. Five wounds. Minus three, and it's four damage apiece. So fail two of these. Four damage apiece, okay. So I do have a CP, so I will, in case I need it. So first one, Good. Fail, passes, Good. passes, fails, fails Good. passes. Fails. So I'll spin a CP, CP. to reroll that because I'm on a four up now. Angron lives. Yep. Which is pretty funny. Yeah. Nope. Ah. Uh, feel no pain? Oh, yep. So, so uh, don't roll any sixes, eight. please. So yeah. he took eight. So Exactly eight, yeah. No single, sixes. Single six in here. And he's good. And he, he's going to rip Mortarion's head off. Pretty much. Yes! Wait, two single one six. six. <laughs> <laughs> so Angron lives with Uno Wundo. Um, now. I believe... Should have charged him with those pox walkers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where are we? Or do you have some kind of like additional tail attack or something? No, he does not. Um, Look at all these mace balls hanging off him. Surely one of them could get could in Could just there. swing around and do yeah. it. Um, now, when you're, when you're bracketed, you've got minus one to hit rolls, don't you? Correct. The contagion is minus one to weapon skill. Yes, so, so they will minus stack. two to hit, yep. which is cool. Hit me on fours with Angron. How does that feel? Feels good. That's fair. That's he's fair. got reroll hits. Yeah, <laughs> so. true, true. <laughs> and he's got sustained hits, so. Yeah. Um, now, I assume you'll fight me first. Oh, no, I, I get to fight with the, yeah, plague, the plague Marines. Plague Marines, yep. Yep. Uh, plague Marines have 15 different weapons profiles on five lads. Um, where are we? Plague Marines with plague knives, bubonic weapons, and heavy plague. What, what have they got? I'm just going to roll over Just start rolling dice. Yeah. <laughs> we'll uh, figure it out later. They get three attacks each, let's, let's say that. And one of them has four attacks with a heavy... with a... what? <laughs> <laughs> this is, I think this is why people don't play Death Guard, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. And it's so funny that, like, you know, Terminators used to have, like, power mauls, power swords, power yep. axes, you know, like, and then they were like, this is too hard, so they fixed that by just going, everything's accursed. Yep. Why didn't they do the same for these guys? Like, have heavy plague yep. weapon and plague at, weapon. At least be consistently bad. Don't... Yeah. yeah. Um, all right, so do all the plague knives, hitting on threes. So you got, what, three attacks per guy? So I'm yep. assuming there's like three guys with those. Yep, three guys with them. Okay. Cool. Um, cool they're lethal, room. so one one wound. Yep. Um, they are strength four. So threes to wound. Uh, what's your toughness? Three? Yep. Toughness two, so twos to wound. Oh, because contagion's spicy. Uh, two. So, so three, three of them, wounds. and these are at AP dash. So these AP are the, uh, six out saves. Yep, nope. three dead. With five up for the pain. Oh, yep. Single damage. Cool. So two dead. All right. Then the four attacks with the bubonic weapons. Wait. Yep. Hitting oh, on... Okay. Yes. You don't have a heavy plague weapon? Oh, so you got one bubonic, I do. one heavy plague. Yes. So four attacks with your bubonic. Yep. Um, hitting on threes. All hit, one lethal. Well, that's spicy. And then twos again. Strength... Uh, strength five, the twos. Yep. Three. All right, so all four, and these are minus two. So just on my fear of pain. Yep. And then one damage. damage. So five up fear of pain. So that kills four. four more. Cool. So I'm going to take these guys in here. They're the three with the heavy plague weapons. Oop. Hitting on fours this time. Uh, one lethal. That's it. Cool. Cool. And it's two damage though. Two damage. Minus two. Two damage. Uh, minus two. Yep. Two damage. Fear knows. So you killed one more. Cool. That's it. So you killed seven there. Impressive stuff. Now we're going to do my eight bound guy over there yep. into your DP. Into the Demon Prince. Uh, now I didn't charge this turn, so I don't get my plus one strength and uh, attack. That's good. That's good. I'll so take it. he's just going in with his four attacks. Yep. Hitting on fours because I'm still need one to hit. Yep. And he's not within Angron's range, so. Cool. Pretty good. Three hits. Uh, and there's two sixes in there, and yep. I did take sustained. Beautiful. So five so hits. Five hits out of his four attacks. Cool. Uh, strength nine, so fives to wound. Yep. And he does get reroll ones. So it's just a single wound. Yep. Uh, AP two, so on two, four threes, fours. He takes it. That's another three. Six up in the pains. Yep. He's in range of himself. Nope. Oh, takes three. He is down to two wounds remaining. Whew. 
Cool. That eight band sergeant is doing work. Sure is. Uh, speaking of doing work, the demon prince himself will fight back. Uh, yes, correct. Yep. Um, I'm assuming I'm not supposed to be in combat with these lads, am I? Do you want? No. I mean, yeah. No. Okay, I'll do that. Cool. Um, demon prince has five attacks, six attacks. Look at him go. It's minus one to hit. I'm assuming because he's. No, he doesn't bracket. No, cool. I think you got to be over hitting on twos. Excellent. That eight pound guy's toast. <laughs> <laughs> Strength eight against T5, so threes. Yep. We're rolling ones because I'm within six of Morty. Yep. Big flappy boy. Nope. So let's have four. four. This is it minus two, three damage apiece? All right. Five up. Yep. Your vulnerable saves. Uh, three get yep. through. Three so damage nine, each. Nine damage in total. I mean, crazier things have happened, right? Yeah, that's true. You need to make eight of these. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I made no. three of them. Yeah, it is, yeah it's, it's impressive. but uh, It's not eight, though. Exactly. Uh, so he's dead. Sorry, mate. Ah. Alrighty. And then Angron uh, and himself. Then Angron. So Angron was charged this turn, so he doesn't get his bonus. Cool. He's going in with eight attacks. He's minus two to hit, because he's got one wound left. Correct. So Does Mortarion explode? One would assume. Look at him. He's fat. <laughs> Um, Deadly Demise D6. I kind of want you to kill him now. I want him to explode, <sighs> take Angron out with him. Uh, eight attacks, hitting on fours. Yep. With full rerolls and sustained hits. Cool. So full rerolls and three sustained already. Cool. So you get eight, nine, ten, ten hits of eight attacks. Yep. Beautiful. And then what toughness are you? Toughness something? Uh, toughness uh, 12. So winning on threes. Winning on threes. I should have spent a CP here to get plus one to win, but it's too late now. Yeah. Uh, any rerolls there? Uh, no, because I'm wounds. There. He's dead? No. Cool. These are at AP4 D6 uh, plus two. Four up involves. So four get through? Yep, so four D6 plus eight. This should do it. Should do. Five, um, so 10, 15 plus 8 is going to be 23. So 23, so 6 up, feel no pains. 10, 12, 15, yep, plus 8. 12, 16, 18, 20, 20, 20 23. He does have the 5 up, feel no pain, right? 6 up, feel no pains. Does he? Pretty sure it's 5 up. I think it's 5 up. He's innately got a 5 up, yeah. 5 up, 5 up. 5 feel no pains. Let's go. I think he's dead, mate. 1, 2, 3, 4. So he takes 19 wounds, which should kill him. He's dead, Jim. Yep, he's, he's dead. Does he explode? Come, Come on, on, you wanted this. I want, I want this I to happen. I believe in you. I believe in you. Actually, I don't. Do you want me to roll it? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that's, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to roll a, a six and just kill Angron. No. See, this is why you should have let me roll it. Oh, no, I rolled a still a four. Well. Oh, All right. Well, so that would have been hilarious. That would have been. Six. <laughs> so, Mortarion is dead. Uh, and that is the end of the turn. I didn't get Bring It Down or Behind. I'm going to burn both of them. Can you do that? Uh, well, I'll, I'll only get CP from one, but I can discard the both. Okay, fair. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. That was cute. Uh, do you <laughs> <want to fight? laughs> Did you do the jackals and oh, stuff? Oh, yeah, sorry. And do that you want to do that? Jackals, uh, jackals aren't going to bother fighting. Yep, yeah, fair enough. All right, we'll go... World yeah, Eater's turn. Do the World Eater's turn. turn. Yep, um, two. So turn two, got to draw some cards. Draw some cards, mate. Defend Stronghold should be pretty easy. Storm Hostile, Storm also very hostile. easy. So I've just got to take you off an objective that you currently hold. Which will be this one here with your Berserkers. Well, or this one here with or that, those Berserkers. Yep, or that one there with those Berserkers. I feel like I have multiple <laughs> opportunities to do this, so we should be golden. So I'm now up on 2 CP. Very nice. I'm going to use 1 to launch these guys out 17 inches. I think so you're on 1. Uh, I'm on 2, you're on 1. You was I, I was on one. 1 in the previous turn. And then you rerolled oh, a save. Seat. Yep, that's yes. right. Apologies, yeah. I forgot yep. about that. Sorry, uh, what was your, your Storm Hostile and... Uh, and uh, Defend Stronghold. Defend Stronghold. Cool. So I feel like uh, I'm going to just kill them. That Rhino can't get to my Stronghold, can it? Uh, I doubt it. You are not within 15. Uh, it is six, 12 inch move. So yeah. 18 is technical so range. So you could advance onto it. Yep, but knowing my advanced rolls. <laughs> I do have Exalted 8-bound and a 
Juggernaut Lord that could come in. I mean, you probably just want to stick the Juggernaut Lord just physically move blocking just the Rhino. One thing, Dean, how much primary are you getting this turn? Uh, well? I'm controlling uh, two, so two. ten. ten? Uh, actually, no, I'm controlling yeah, one. No, I'm controlling this. Oh, yes, still. yeah, two, so ten. So ten. Very cool. Um, because the guys inside of that could disembark. Have they got a six-inch move? Five-inch move. So they could disembark out eight and then advance, which is not yep. going to be enough to get them on. Yep. They could move and then disembark, but that won't be enough to get them on. So the only way that you can get on there is if you advance the Rhino on. So if I just drop my eight bound on it, yep. you'll only be OC three. I'll have three OC on it. You can't take it from me. Fair enough. So that's the best way to guarantee that you definitely can't take it from me. All right? Absolutely, yeah. Um, so let's say I'm going to do that. Yep, they just cruise on down there. Yep. Uh, might as well put them up close so that next turn I can go in and do stuff. Yep. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to... This Rhino is going to... The guys inside are going to dismark and kill that. Yep. And then it's going to move over and tag top on that objective to Beautiful. stop you from scoring the primary. Love it. Um, so spending my... Oh, do I even need to? spend the CP here. I probably don't, to be honest. You shouldn't need to. Because... You, you move out, what, nine? Actually, I didn't take advance and charge. You didn't. That's so, cool. I'm going to disembark out my nine inches to there. Yeah. It's still a pretty reliable yeah, charge, I reckon. it's pretty good. Yeah. You can spend the CP on the rear rolls charge if you need to. Yeah. So, Zerk is jumping out here. Oh, well, Gini is still moving. Question yeah. for you, Mr. Dalton. Yeah. Uh, why no foul blight spawn? Because Lucky didn't put one in the list. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a good question. What does the foul blight spawn do, Lawrence? Uh, okay, so his ability is when he's leading a unit. Yep. It gives them fight first. Okay. Very good um, against WE. It's good against world leaders. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's probably a points thing then. Um, does he do anything else for a unit? And how much does he cost? I don't know. Let's double check for yeah. you. I'm going to overwatch Angron. Who didn't see that coming? Yep. It's going to be the Lord of Virulence and the Death Shroud overwatching him. Oh, yeah. Because Lord of Virulence is twin linked on his strength five flamer. Checks it out. Um, it's the best I got. These guys don't need to go anywhere because they're just going to charge and kill all that. These yep. guys don't need to kill, go anywhere because they're going to charge and kill all that. Cool. So, with the Blight Spawn, can you only put it with Plague Marines too? That is correct. Yeah. Just so you can't put it, we can't put it with the Terminators either, yeah. right? Then, then, then I probably just wouldn't bother. Like five Black Marines fighting oh. first. Yeah, you'd only fine. do it if you take a big unit of play. And he's just 50 points. Yeah, but even then, I'd rather just spend that on two more Terminators. Um, cool. Overwatch me, bro. Overwatching. D6 from Lord of Virulence. Three. <gasps> uh, strength five, so imagine sixes to wound. Uh, your T10? T11. Down to ten, so sixes just to still wound. Still sixes, yeah. But... Uh, Twin linked, which is now shred. Just three sixes naturally. <laughs> cool. cool. Um, and this has AP, I believe, as well. Sure. It is AP minus one, ignores cover, torrent, twin links. So this would be three up saves. Uh, yep. Uh, and then you've got another shooting attack from. I've got another flamer on the other guy as well. Well. He's good. They're all good. The other flamer. For five. Ideally, I would rather not lose anger on here. It'd be pretty funny if you did. If you did. I um, don't think it's going to matter, <laughs> but uh, it would be... Okay. He looks like he's about to have so much fun. And this is going to be sixes as well, oh, you but it's ruin not... Um, fun. Sixes, but it's not twin linked, so it doesn't spread. Uh, uh, just two sixes. Uh, it get the Lord of Virulence gives him reroll wins with range attacks. Oh, it does. Yeah. So two. Still two. AP? Dash. So two ups. Two ups. Single one is all I need to see. Nah, it's all good. good. Cool. Oh well, worth a shot. <sighs> that, was, that was a pretty good showing, if I'm being honest there. Five sixes on those wounds was pretty good. You should have done it with these guys, because one of those Plague Burst Mortar things going through, AP, I don't know. Yeah, it could, it could um, have been. I just kind of went shred on the, on the Plague yeah, Burst, makes it more reliable. Because yeah. if I hadn't rolled the three sixes, the shred would have mattered. True. <laughs> uh, so yeah. I don't think I have any other movement to do. I do have my... Um, Juggernaut Lord, but... I don't think you need him anywhere I at the moment. don't really need him. Yep. Do I want to bring him down somewhere to set up for a next turn charge? You could definitely drop him in the corner. Well, I can't drop him in your deployment zone because it's turn two. You can drop him outside the deployment zone but by I half can, an inch. I can bring him on, like, over here. Yeah. And then he's just there. I'll bring him on here so he's nine inches from that... The rhino there? Rhino, yep. whatever that... Cool. 
Just so that it incentivizes you to go back that way so that you're near the rest of my stuff. That's fair. Uh, cool. Shooting phase. Uh, because it would be rude not to, Khan and his guys there. So there's yep. three plasma pistols. What are they shooting at? Oh, actually, they're in combat, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Uh, Chargers. I could fall back with the jackals, but that doesn't sound like a very well leaders thing to do. So yeah, let's, yeah, that's fair. Let's not. Charges. Yep. So this is the only one that's not a guarantee. Yep. We're looking for a um, within five, so a four on the dice. Beautiful. Get in. That's twelve. Box yeah. Cars. <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, so they're all in. In they go. Anybody that can get in base must. Yep. Which is almost everyone. I'm actually going to get... What I'm going to do... Yes. Make sure Khan's not. Is I'm going to make it so that Khan is not within base, but he's on this side, which means when they pile in, he'll be able to pile in and attack the Rhino. Can you attack a unit you didn't charge this time? Yes, that's oh, one of the cool. changes from 10th edition, so... Cool. Uh, yep. Because right. I think those Berserkers are going to be enough to chop oh, those guys to pieces. 100%. Um, yep. And I'd like to kill a Rhino because that's fun. Yeah. Um, and now we go into the other charges because yep. that's what we're doing. Um, I didn't shoot my pistol, so I'm done now. I literally started talking about shooting pistols. Couldn't shoot anything. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. But I got these <laughs> pistols. Oh yeah. But do, you, do you want them to? Nah. At Eleven inches. Cool. So that's going to be oh geez, that's going to be huge. Yep. Do you want to ro roll a few others and then I'll just start. Yeah. There you go. I basically want to try and get as many bodies on that objective as I can. Yeah. I'm going to make a prediction here that I'm going to have a single Rhino, maybe a Demon Prince, and maybe a Plague Burst Crawler left after this turn. Nah. I just knocked off your CP, so you're on zero CP. Yep, that checks out. That's how that game works, right? Yep, pretty much. Something like that. Um, cool. Was that a CP count? Yeah, it was one. We knock um, over Angron, does that mean he dies too? Yeah. So... <laughs> 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 yeah, but he comes back anyway. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, Angron's just going to charge this PBC. Yep. Yep. Or a nine. So he's just going to go down there. Yep. So he can kill it and tag the other one. Yep. Makes sense. That's the plan. Cool. Uh, Avocado Man is going to charge both. Yep. Makes it. Yep. If you'd like to shuffle him in. Yep. And then the other juggernaut, he's going to. Uh, Nine inch charge on the uh, rhino. I actually don't want to hit the rhino because if I blow up that rhino, you're yep. going to get out more objective that control onto the objective. Yeah, so you want to leave it alone. Or you're going to be able to disembark out the front and then in your next turn move and advance and get on that. Which I'd better do anyway, but yeah. 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 Cool. Um, but yeah, you don't want me getting onto the objective. No. So let's not do that. Fair enough. Uh, you've only got one CP, so no yep. interrupts. Where would you like to fight first? Uh, you don't have any defensive strats or anything, do you? I think I can give Neg 1 to wound or something. You can do Neg 1 damage, but that's 2 CP. Neg You've only got 1. Oh, gotcha, yeah. So no. So let's fight first with Khan and his boys. Um, the boys kill all the lads. Roll Khan into uh, the rhino. The boys may not Will kill it, all uh, the lads. Okay, all right, well, let's roll them out. Is your let's toughness 5, right? Surely, surely they're not. Or they they're might just, be they're toughness just, They're six. just space marines. Yeah, but they're... No, T5, yeah. They're, they're gross ones. T5. Oh, they have 2 wounds as well, so they're bigger space marines. Yeah. Um, cool. So I'll be T6. So like I'll be better. Yeah, let's see. Of a long war. Because I remember I am Neg 1 to hit, and this unit That's true, isn't yeah. re rolling all of its hits. Cause true, because they're not near Angron. Yeah, so yeah. we'll do Khan into the Rhino. Yep. He's just going to get in there. On the ground, though. Uh, so, and then we'll do the Berserkers. So I'll do the Berserkers yep. first. So there's two blokes in the squad. Yep. With Cornate Eviscerators. Mm. So these guys getting hitting on threes, which goes to fours, because yep. of your thing. But they do get reroll ones from Khan. Beautiful. That's pretty good. Dropping two so far, dropping three. Cool. But sustained. Yep. And so then, seven in total. And then these are strength nine. So threes. With reroll ones from Khan. Yep. <coughs> pretty handy. So that's so four. four. AP. So AP two, two damage. So threes, fours, fives. So uh, they kill kills two. two. And It'll then. There'll be two mooks. I'll leave one, the power fist or whatever it is in there. Two. Or a great bubonic weapon three, thing. Three. 
four, five, six, yep. seven, and eight. And eight. Cool. So these are the chain so axes. Four, 40 attacks of chain axes. Yep. Uh, Hitting on 30, threes to 30. fours. Eight, yeah, by, eight five, by five. Yeah, five. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Right. Maths. Yeah. Um, hitting on fours. Yep, threes to fours. Rerolling ones. Yep. Can't. Look, look at all those twos, though. Yeah. And my head's probably missing the camera. I'm real bad at that. Um, what are twos one and threes? There, one there. One there. There's a three there. Oh, that's right. I'm hitting on fours, aren't I? Yeah. Cool. That's pretty good. I'm going to reroll these ones. Yep. Nothing. No. Cool. But then we got some sustains. Very nice. One there, one there, one there, one there. Not too shabby. Yep. And then these will be threes because you're T5, T5. on strength six. Very nice. Plus one strength in the charge, plus one strength in the chain axes. Yep. Cool. Um, That's good. And then these are re-rolling ones as well. So threes with one. Very nice. There's a one there and a two there. Cool. We're going to roll these ones. Yep. I'm just going to roll these. Yep. AP2, AP1. AP1. Yep. I mean, that makes sense. Chain axes are AP3, AP4 traditionally, so yeah. yeah. Oop, I've lost one. Ah. Cool. Uh, they're dead. Yep. By, by a wide margin. Yep. Then Khan goes into the Rhino. I'll leave those there. Cool. Uh, and Khan has a bunch of attacks as well. Yep. Melee weapons. So he's got nine attacks on the charge. Yep. So four, four, one. These are hitting you on twos traditionally, but contagions, threes. blah, 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 yep. threes. Rerolling the ones. Oof. Oh, come on, Khan. Five twos? It was five twos. It's the same, though. Out of nine. <laughs> Fair strength. Enough. Uh, he is strength six. So he goes fives. up to strength uh, seven on fives. the thing. T9. Fives. Rerolling ones. Rhino's at T9 is pretty wild. One. He does one wound. He's AP2. I'm good. So Khan did not even scratch the paint. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, he struggled to find the paint under all the grime, but. True. He's slipping all over the place. Plus, we yeah. all know that, that rhinos are like the bane of Khan's existence, right? Land Raiders. It was, it was, was it a he, Land Raider? It was, was, a la it was impaled in the front of a Land Raider. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And they're just going to just whatever. Yep. Cool. I'm going to pull Poxy. I was going to say, <laughs> they're in a lot of trouble. Yep. It, um, it's, it's that again, but with no armor. <laughs> yeah. Um, and and a six single, up field no single wound each. Yeah. <laughs> so Poxy's are dead. Where would um, you like to go next? Let's just continue in this general yep. direction. So Angron. Angron, so he's got nine attacks into that yep. PBC. Uh, minus two to hit, so he's still hitting on fours. Yep, but he is getting four rear rolls. Yep. Uh, fours, you that say? You don't, that you don't need, yeah. Cool. And there's, what, three sixes in there? Yep, so you get, was it nine attacks? So 11 hits. That checks out. How good is sustained hits? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then toughness, I'm uh, going to guess, like 12? Uh, rhinos. No, the uh, where, where are PBCs. T10. T10. It's pretty wild. T10 on a, on a main tank. Yeah. Um, strength so 14. These would be strength 16, oh, I think. But three anyway, threes. Yep, um, lost one. Just rolled it straight off the edge. Uh, okay, rerolls of one. Uh, nope, that's only when there's eight bound nearby, and there's cool. no eight bound nearby. Uh, AP. Lots. AP4. AP4. Uh, I don't think I've got an involve. Oh, two up save, though. Sixes. It's dead. Does it explode? They don't have a five up involved? I don't think you rolled no, enough roll in fives. Um, does not explode. PBC cool. is dead. And then he tags the other PBC. Cool. Put his pile in. Um, they are demons, so they would have a five up demon save, I imagine. Yeah, they do, so. yeah. No. But it still didn't roll enough fives. Uh, and then we go into the eight bound. Yep. So to split their attacks, yep. I'm going to put. I'm going to put Avocado Man... The Dim Prince has only got two wins left, correct? Yep. So I'm going to put Avocado Man and the Sergeant from into the squad the into the Demon Prince. Yep. Everything else with the Terminators? Everything else with the Terminators. Um, I'll pull the Terminators. Let's roll the Demon Prince. Yep. So Avocado Man. Cool. 
has seven attacks, has eight on the charge. Yep. Uh, he's hitting you on twos normally, so threes. Threes. And I'm enjoying those twos. I'm enjoying those sixes. That's fair. <laughs> eight, eight hits. Cool. Strength. Uh, strength is seven. So fives to wound. Fives to wound. One. Wow. Three rolls. No. Uh, four up involved. Yep, he's good. Rot row. And then the sergeant. Oh, he also gets his, um, which oh, I don't the, think I did last the, turn. The juggernaut. The juggernaut itself. Yep. It's four attacks. So these will be hitting you on fours. Yep. Cool. Good stuff. Thrilling. Yeah. He really needs Angron nearby. The second the boss isn't looking, he starts fucking around. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, um, very suitable for you then. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. literally that's just me. It's just you on a, <laughs> on a little thing. <laughs> I make everyone around me a little bit better just at the start, and then I do nothing. <laughs> that's the day. I get everyone set up. I'm like, all right, everyone, do you know what you're doing? All right, cool. I'm going to be in meetings, and then I just go write lists all day. He's yeah. literally me. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so, but... The sergeant. Sergeant, on the other hand, is someone you've, you've actually told to do something. Yeah, he's he's that guy that gets none of the credit, does all the work. Yeah. So definitely not me. He's probably <laughs> you. Uh, so six attacks. Yep. He's hitting you on threes normally, but goes to fours. Yep. I mean, I one mean, hit. Yeah. And it's all it needs, one hit. Uh, Fives to wound. Strength 14. Oh, uh, two, uh, threes so to wound. Threes to wound. And yep. he's twin links to so re-rolling these ones as well. Shred, yep. Doesn't need it. Love it. Ah, oh, wow. Cool. Um, Demon Prince is going to slap back with six attacks. Well, this is yeah. one of the challenges with World Eaters is the second they're not near Angron, they fall apart. They just, they just, yeah, they just fuck around. Uh, hitting on twos. Two ones, no rerolls. Uh, leaf, no, not lethal on sixes. Um, and then strength eight, so threes. Four That'll wounds, minus two, three damage apiece. All right. <clears throat> Minus two, so these will go to five ups. Yep. Cool. And then uh, and feel no pain on so sixes. If there was three get through, so the first one. Oh, fives on them, isn't it? Uh, yes. So the first one. one kills the wounded guy. Yep. Next one kills uh, one guy. Does does kill. two damage to one guy? Sorry. And then the next one kills, kills that guy. Second. So two guys die. Yep. And there's no more wounded models in the unit. Yep. Take these two. Cool. It's all right. Uh, and then that's all she wrote. Yeah, uh, the Plague Burst Crawler is going to try and kill Angron. <gasps> oh, this would be spicy. This would, this would be hilarious. Um, it's going to happen. Let's see. It's probably got three full hits or something ridiculous it too. It doesn't. Three attacks hitting on fours. Nothing. If you add those two together, they become four. Yeah, that would be nice. All right. That's, that's it. Huzzah. All right. They so can I got do both these. my objectives. Yep. Defend and Storm. Oh, well, Defend technically I get well, you, at the start of your turn. Yes, yeah. Um, or at the end of your turn, but you don't have the capacity to get there. I, mean, I could charge them. You could. I'm gonna try, them. but like, it's 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 rough. So, yeah, that's. Yep. I should have put them at the I mean, back. You should have put them in front. No, what you should have done is put them in front of the objective. Just like out in the middle of nowhere, nine from the rhino, move blocking. That's what I was saying. You should have done with the lord, with the the juggalord. Yeah. F physically stop me moving there. Yeah. yeah. Um, but still. All right. Yeah. Turn three Just, uh, for the death turn guard. Three, yeah. uh, I don't hold any objectives. Engage in all fronts. Very, very actually doable. That is doable, yeah. And secure no man's land. Uh, not doable. Uh, oh, kind of doable. That's doable. Yeah. Because you could get a rhino could yeah. potentially advance onto that, and then the guard the lads can disembark can get onto that back one, and that gets you your engage secure. and secure. Yeah. Um. For engage, I'm gonna do my blood Yahtzee. I was actually hoping yep. you'd kill Angron so that I could Yahtzee him. Okay, Yahtzee. That's a bad roll, but I don't actually care at this stage. Uh, can re -roll it, right? I can re-roll it, and man. I will because I would like sustained hits because it's fun. There it is. So sustained hits on those. Yep. And six up feel no pain with those. Cool. Um, I'll go up to two VP, uh, two CP. Sorry. Um, now, and what am I on CP? Was one, two, one, two. Okay. 
Um, the lads are going to get out over there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to... Yeah, the boys. Where would you like me to place them? Hold on. Them? I've, I've, got, I've got a thought here. I'm going to advance the lads, I think. Because what they can do, if I want to get engaged in this quarter, and still... Oh, no, the lads need to be here to take it off the rhino, because I can't kill the rhino. Correct. So you need to drop out there. Yeah. And advance the rhino onto yeah. there is your only way of getting so thing. going Ch to chuck us a tape. I'll tell you what dice you need to roll on your advance because yep. rhino if it moves forward like three inches to there, it's got nine inches left. So yep. like a two or a three inch advance will get you on there. A four. Now I'm going to be careful with this because it matters for engage. And I assume these guys disembark on it. Yeah, they'll, they'll get out first. Do they so want to get out somewhere where they can like charge a rhino or? Um, yeah, let's mess the rhino up. And you're going to get me to there. So while you guys are doing yeah, your movement, I just want to update you with the poll. The poll? Surely it's 100% red team. It, now, it right? should be. It should be. The it Nurgles... Be 112%. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Nurgles improved their showing. Now it's 22%. Really? How? <laughs> to the corny guys at 78%. Okay. Uh, that's going to be movement. Um, so I didn't... I needed a, probably needed a five there. I wanted the Rhino to get engaged on that quarter. And you can do it while holding the center objective. Do you have to? You can't be within three inches of another quarter? Is yes. that a thing? So he hasn't got there. So he, no. But what I'm saying is there is a bit of the center objective you can control while getting engaged in the Correct. quarter. Correct. You just need to be um, But I needed right to be further. Angle, right? Exactly, yeah. I didn't, didn't get enough on the advance. That's why I was being careful with the measurement there. This guy's probably going to have to move to here somewhere. See? So oh, yeah. Because, yeah. Hold on. Done. Yep. Um, but that'll get you, still get you your two points. Uh, uh, Yes, two points, because it'll only be in three quarters. Because yep, he yep. didn't get in that one, yep. Let's move on to shooting. Um, the Plague Burst Crawler into Angron. <laughs> Let's get him. The, um, the, the yep. Entropy Cannons. Yeah, well, they're the spicy ones. Yep. So. Hitting on fire fours, threes yep. to fours. Yep. One hit. It's a hit. Um, Going to be fives to wound. Nothing. The, we can't fire the blast weapon, so there's just the, the little guns. Fours, two hits. And sixes. then sixes. No, nothing. You can actually fire your blast, but outside. Yeah, you can, if you have a target. Oh, okay. It yeah. can target like the Berserkers um, or those Berserkers or... It'll target... Eight Bound or Juggalord. That's a good point. Um, what, do I, what do I need? Yeah, I'll target the, the Rhino over yeah, there. You don't like want to hit the Berserkers because they'll just Blood Surge move yeah. into you. I mean, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. I'm going to hit the Rhino over there. <laughs> For five shots, hitting on fours. That's all right. Uh, it'll be hitting on threes to fours. Yeah, and you There's don't no, the, neg the negatives ones don't from, get further. Yep, correct. Yep. Three lethals. Then okay. it'll be threes of strength ten. Yep. No. Just three lethal hits on the rhino. Uh, Which it's going to be yep. two. We'll get through. Three will get through. Minus two. Oh, minus two. Yep. Uh, minus two. Minus, one. minus three. Minus three on the mortar. Oh no no sorry the mortar's minus one. You're correct. Yeah so, so, only, so two three, only two. Uh, two damage a piece. Uh, yep, so six up till the Cool, so Rhino takes two. Um, and then... I love me a good Rhino. Yeah. The Demon Prince here. Just going to flame of the Juggalord, because <gasps> it's kind of funny. For one hit. Doesn't wound. Cool. No shred on him. Um, I'll put the Plasma Gun from the, um, from the Sergeant into the Rhino there. Hitting on a three. Yep. Hits. Um, and then wounding on a five. Strength eight on a plasma gun. Yes. No, maybe. Yeah, something like that. Nope. And then the yeah. gets hot. It's good. Cool. Um, let's move on to charges. I think I've charged the rhino. Checks out. Making him with a three. Uh, and then they're going to fight the rhino. Yep. Uh, power fist is the only thing that really matters here. Or, the, or the, the bubonic weapon, sorry. Let me make sure that it's... The They've got a bubonic and a heavy plague. Yeah. The heavy plague, I think, is supposed to be the power fist. Uh, okay. It's got a heavy plague weapon. Three attacks, hitting on fours. Those two hits two lethals. that are both lethal. Cool. Uh, minus heavy. two, two damage. Both get through. So four, four damage. damage. Fiona. So it takes another three. Cool. So down to six. Yep. Then I've got three with the knives. Cool. Hitting on threes. Two lethal. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. It's a good hit roll. Yep. 
And then your T... T9. Down to T8, so still sixes. Two sixes. Oof. So four. Uh, this is no AP, but one damage. Uh, three ups. Take one. With a six up. Cool, so I can't kill you. Um, four attacks, hitting with the bubotic weapon. Hitting on threes. Uh, one hit. And nothing. Cool. Wah, wah. You get to fight next. I'm assuming Angron. Uh, or do you want to fight the Demon Prince? No, there for sure. Cool. That's not going to kill Angron. And if it does, that's <laughs> kind of funny. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's like, I'm cool. totally okay with that. All right. All right. Avocado Man first. Uh, I'm going to spend a CP here to get plus one to my wound rolls. That's fair. We've seen that happen. We've seen it go wrong. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, what have we got? We've I'm going to spend two CP for whatever it is I can do. You Minus one damage. Yeah, which is actually premium. That actually halves my income. The income from two damage. down to one, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's so, go. And I didn't charge this turn, so I just got seven attacks with the avocado. Yep. Uh, hitting you on threes. Yep. Uh, fours. Minus one. No, not that it matters. Uh, no, so that wasn't factoring. Oh, twos in to one. threes, yep. Cool. Twos to threes, yep. Yep, five hits. Two sustains. And then these would be strength six, which would be wounding you on fives. Five. Yeah, plus one down Plus one fours. down one, so back to fives. Why, why down one? There's no minus one to wound you. No, so okay, fours. There you go. That's pretty good. Suck that. So that's five. <laughs> uh, four up in bombs. I need yep. to make four of these. One at a time. Yeah. All right. So six, up, one. six up feeling pain. Six up feeling no pain. Nope. So taking one. All right. Keep going. Good. 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 Okay. Got one wound left. Lawrence. Lawrence. <laughs> yeah, the DP. Yeah, the DP. Uh, then we got four attacks from the horn, yep. which is normally hitting on threes, goes to fours. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. Checks out. Uh, and is strength six, so Five, fours. Ten. Fours. No. No. The eight bound. Come on. So these are exalted eight bound. Yep. We've got, uh, I'll do the sergeant first. Yep. So five attacks now because he didn't charge. Yep. Hitting you normally on threes, goes to fours. Beautiful. Three with a sustain, so four. Yep. And then strength 14, so it would be threes. threes goes to twos. Yep, plus one. And re-rolls. So doesn't need it. Doesn't need it, four. All right. AP three, so four ups. Lawrence. He's got me. He does not Ooh. have me. Six of Finna Pain. No, he's dead. Ooh. Does he explode? He does. Hold on. Let's find out if he actually does or not. This is where you wanted the explosion. Yeah, I know. This is you where I wanted, wanted that down on here. the DP, not on the, 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 on, demon, the on the PBC. Not the DP. Um, he also doesn't explode. So, <laughs> Big point. Oh, fair enough. Cool. No, it's deadly demise D three. Wait, is it? I, yeah. I, I, just, I just missed it on the thing. D three. Oh yep, yeah, D three. Take two. Uh, six of Fender pains. Uh, does one, so I think that kills a guy, right? No, because none of them are wounded. Okay, cool. Yeah, oh, killed, that was your that wound was my, counter. My wound counter. Gotcha. Now it's yours. Cool. Sharing is caring. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's what Nurgle's so all about. Yeah, you fight. I'll fight the plague burst crawler. Hitting on fours. Oh, let's can do, let's this. do it. You can do this. Oh, I can't no, do this. Do this. <laughs> 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 all right. All right. Then we got Anger on. He's got eight attacks as he didn't charge yeah. this turn. I mean, look, that's that's better. Eight attacks is right. Uh, he's hitting you on fours though, because hey. neg one weapon skill and neg one, and to, neg hit. one to hit. But he does get full rerolls. Yep, from himself. No sustains, but cool. pl plenty of hits. Seven hits. We wounded you on threes. Yep. With no rerolls here. No, nope. so that's what, five. Five. AP. Four. That's oh, right, five up demon save. Lawrence, what's the damage on this? <laughs> this is D6 plus two. All right, D6 plus two. Four. four. All right, I've taken four. What's what's their wounds? They are uh, 12 wounds. So I've got eight left. Lawrence, you're failing me. What are you doing? Explodes. <laughs> Explodes on a six. No. Oh. Oh. She let me roll it. No. Oh. All right. It used to be, didn't they? They used to be, yeah. Oh, it right. used to be you'd be able to make their stuff auto explode. Or was that Alpha Legion? Alpha. Uh, it's not like that, yeah. All right, so at the end of that turn, I'll get secure no man's land for five points, and I'll burn engage for a CP. Um, I think we play out your turn and. Nope. 
I got three units left. Two of them are. I know you. you oh yeah, because I killed the. You killed kill the PVC. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> in your turn. In my turn. Yeah. That felt like my turn, and now it did, I'm going to yeah. have another. It feels like I've had three consecutive it does, turns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shall we dance? <laughs> uh, I'll pull the rhino. You'll pull the I'll rhino. I'll pull the rhino and I'll pull the plague marines. <laughs> like <laughs> it's it. Because yeah, basically think, now uh, the eight bound going to kill the rhino, yep. the juggalord and those eight bound going to kill that. These berserkers yep. kill that. Angron has a party. Angron just sits there and boogies. Good game, sir. Good game. <laughs> that was horrifying. So, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Death Guard, not at all tough. Not survivable. Well, not into world leaders, anyway. Yeah. I mean, there's a few There's a few things I think you could have done. Like, obviously, you weren't playing that super strategically. Like, nah. that unit of 20 um, pox orcs, because if you had a big ring of them around the front... Yeah, you just couldn't hit me turn one. And then I just have to charge them turn one. Yeah. That's just a huge problem for me. That's true, yeah. Because it then means, well, now you get to, to choose when the fights happen. Yeah, and I get to like put ten Terminators yeah. into you know, the six eight bound fighting first yeah. with the buffs. Yeah, and then yeah. you probably kill the eight bound, whereas the eight bound is still alive. They shouldn't be. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like um, there's a systemic problem with Death Guard where your opponent can use a tape measure and go, oh, 16 away from your Terminators. And yeah. Then it's, but yeah, if Wally is staying 16 away from my Terminators, I'm happy as well. Yeah. It's fine. But it means they're always going to charge you. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. You that's true. Right. Um, I mean, that's where the deep strike comes in, because um, because yeah. uh, weirdly enough, they cataphractically they have built in deep strike. Yeah. You, um, well, it's, it's not weird. It's just it's new to forty k. Yeah. yeah. Uh, previously, you had to have cer certain things to give them deep strike. So, be, have, being able to deep strike ten of them nine away and going cool, a nine inch charge is better than never getting the charge. Yeah. Is definitely the way to go. Um, and thirty of them all deep striking the same turn is pretty pretty worrying. Proxies can definitely screen out to make space for it as well. Yeah. Yeah. What was interesting too is Angron kind of lets you walk through the minus one to hit. I thought that would be way yeah. more. But because of yeah. the reroll hits, yeah. your yeah. damage kind of stays. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. So as soon as he moved away, the damage The damage stops. Quite yeah. A lot, yeah. Right? That was actually that was really interesting. As soon as Angron isn't in the middle of it, nothing does anything. Yeah, so um, I've I've found playing yeah. world leaders, almost always the way it goes is yeah, Angron goes in and your 8-bound go in turn 1. So you got reroll all your hits and reroll ones to wound on yep. most of your stuff. So you have this massively explosive turn 1. But then they kill your 8-bound, they either kill Angron, or Angron now has to fly away and do something else. Yep. Yeah, and yeah. then the stuff that's left just doesn't really do anywhere near as much. But the good thing on that is the psychological impact of just doing that massive damage in the first turn. Yeah, yeah. Your opponent just freaks out and they think, oh my god, I have to kill those exalted 8-bound. It's like, you don't really. Yeah. <laughs> like they're not that scary now. They're scary. <laughs> they, they, they were scary start, then. Yeah. It's too late now. Yeah. Um, but yeah. No, like cheers, Ben. It was it was good to play. I haven't played against world leaders since well, since ninth. Um, yeah. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, they're a fun army to play. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so thank you for that. If you enjoyed watching Dean here, go and check him out. Blog for the Blood God. Um, link down below. We've got yes. a big apocalypse battle report. Which I sorry, I technically played played them there, but it was kind of a. A much bigger, bigger yeah, scale. So, was, uh, so we did um, first War of Armageddon narrative apocalypse, where we yeah. had like how many thousands, like fifty, sixty thousand points Some, worth of models on the table. Some ridiculous bonkers. number. It was one of the best things I've ever seen. Yeah, like it, it was, was just it was truly glorious. colossal. We had multiple yeah. gaming that's put together. It was. Yeah. Some of the highest production quality stuff I've done as well, so I'm pretty proud of that content. Yeah. So definitely check that out. Go check that out. It was a lot of fun to do. Uh, we've still got one more, I think, to, yeah, to do and put out as well. Film. A big four-way one, which yeah. was pretty sweet. But I also do a way. whole bunch of like tactical and strategy stuff. So I do lots of competitive focused stuff, but also some fun narrative stuff to mix it up a bit. So yeah, Absolutely. Check Go check it out and also follow along for all the updates on competitive teams in Australia as well. Yes. Um, you are, of course, captain of Team, team Victoria Australia. and Team Australia. Yes. So yes. that's it's pretty cool. It's going to be a busy year for me. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so go check it out, um, do all that. Make sure while you're down there to check out all of our sponsors, Dice Arcade, Miniature Scenery, and General Games Australia, uh, as well as our events, Risky Rollers events, link down below. That's the Facebook group where we post all of our updates for all of our upcoming events. We've got two more this year, the Risky Rollers Open, a big competitive 40K event to round out the year, and the Risky Rollers Annual, our yearly charity event, uh, turning our love of toy soldiers into something that actually helps people out in the real world. It's going to be awesome. Yep. I'd love I'm to gonna see I'm going to be at there. both of those. It's going to be fantastic. Yeah. It's going to be and so Risky Rollers do amazing events. So if you haven't attended Cheers. one of them before, definitely check them out. And also the Risky Rollers Open, we would be streaming most of the games there. Yes. Well, not most of the games there. Most I mean, yeah. There. One, um, one, one, one game, game per hour. Per hour, yes. It'll be our first time live streaming an yes. event. We did a big test set up at our previous one. Uh, we're actually really happy with how that came out. So we're going to be live streaming every round of the Risky Rollers Open, the top tables from each round. 
So make sure to check that out. You'll catch it here on YouTube. And I think over on Twitch is the plan. Uh, that's the plan because we would yeah. also be having most likely Mr. Scotty D. Scotty 49D from the uh, Astralis Tabletop Network. Uh, we are looking to have him come down and help us out with that and be involved. It's going to be pretty sweet. So make sure to check that out. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Check out Blow for the Blood God. Check out our sponsors, our events. Huge thank you to all of you for watching, to all of our patrons. You guys let us do this um, and yeah, keep, keep doing it and improving it. Catch you guys next week. Bye. Look for the blood gun. Do your objective markers ever get lost behind terrain or other models and become difficult to see? Do they ever get bumped and accidentally moved during a game? And do they ever spark arguments about distances? Well, not anymore. Introducing the Blog for the Blood God, not even remotely patented, neoprene objective markers. Made from the same material as astronaut suits, or maybe military equipment, or probably neither of those things, this two millimeter thick neoprene synthetic rubber is tear resistant, water resistant, and is designed to last. But that's not all. The blog for the blood god, not even remotely patented neoprene objective markers come in a variety of different designs and styles to suit any faction represented in the Warhammer 40,000 universe. These objective markers are a perfect gift for yourself or a friend and are a perfect way to flex and show your opponent that not only are you a smarter, cooler and better 40k player than them, but you also have more disposable income than they do. For the low price of $25, you'll get not one, not two, but six neoprene objective markers. The Warhammer community suffers from some of the most prohibitively expensive essentials in the world, especially Australian content creators. Every single day, Dean wants to create content, but he can't. Suffering from old, worn-out brushes, expensive model kits, and costly software and equipment, he can't endure much longer. Just look at this dirty paint water. Would you drink this? Would you let your child? Even a small monthly donation can help provide Dean with clean paint water, basic tools for survival, and access to life-saving information and education. So please, follow the links in the description below and find out how you can sponsor a mad cunt like Dean today and end the suffering. Suffering that is cruel.